Kiora, all kooky kanku, kaleidoscopic Kirin, and kinky killer kings, welcome to the diecast. Last we convened, we goblinified backs to partake in, and soon win, one of the greatest chariot races in the mortal realms. We also picked up a stray pensioner with a penchant for punching and betting with other people's cash. <laughs> After the race, factions among the crowd rose up in what seemed to be an attack on King Cathard. Whether this to be the true intent is yet to be discovered. A severe ass-whooping later, the party and their allies, the Ironfoot Battalion, stand amongst the chaos and corpses. What shall be the consequences of this uprising? Who left among the crowd a shady? And where the fuck's Lilith? <laughs> Lilith, on her way back from the piss break, got caught up in the, the throng and the... The violence that ensued. So you've so been song, then. yeah, <laughs> caught up in a thong. Got stuck around her high heels. Yeah, that's fucking... You're like three stories up, and you're like hanging from. You're like, help! <laughs> help! I got a wedgie from hell. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lilith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Lilith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but you sort of you were making your way back. I think the music stopped. How dare it? How dare you? Um, but yeah, you were making your way back from uh, taking a piss. And suddenly everyone started fighting. So you're basically daggering your way back. You're just like sort of scurrying like, bitches. Where after we that. All this fucking fights. <laughs> yeah, it's just, mm. it's sort of the norm for you now. But yeah, you are just <laughs> being violent. It's like, whoop, whoop, <laughs> yeah. Another sword. <laughs> but as you, <laughs> re- an arrow. just as you were sort of rejoining, there seems to be like a bit of a, um, like a lull in the fighting. I will actually put combat music on just to still give that theme of you know like mm. it There's is still, still kicking off. Going They're still on right going now. on. You guys have cleared that immediate space of those cultists that, like, bum-rushed you uh, from opposite sides. But Chadwick sees that as a sort of, well, I'm basically done now. <laughs> right? Just doing it towards you. Like oh. this? Yeah. Like this? Do, 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 like, like this. <laughs> like there we are. Sorry. I was trying to be solid. I was like, the mic? <laughs> <laughs> is it this? Is it? I just, hey, just realised that the, um, you. the music mic's playing, pointing at nothing currently as well. You oh, can just it? see yeah. us go, like... Oh, shit. Just point I didn't realise I was down there. Either way. Um, yeah. <laughs> just uh, on the floor. <laughs> Carry on. Chadwick sees the... Uh, <laughs> Well, there's Chadwick, ah. and he's about to leave. Oh, it's Chadwick. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Don't look at him. He basically, after you've killed that initial bunch, <laughs> Chadwick wrong. sees that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chadwick sees that as a sort of, um, basically, the, the end of it, like the fight, so to say. It's like, right, mm. I've, I've killed who I want to go. So he's like, well, ta-ta. And he just fucks off and leaves. And he and just goes, <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> Goodbye. He just sort of like waddles away, like fists like swollen and bloodied, covered in viscera and nonsense. Yeah, with my two gold. Yeah, he's fucked off. Ah. With the betting slips. Ah, so long, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing was his plan. Yeah. <laughs> there, oh shit, there he's seems the cult to, leader. Like you, you think maybe he's like urinated down his legs as he's walking away because like obviously he's got that like chain shirt tucked in with like a belt <laughs> and like no trousers on underneath. But there just seems to be like a, a, a wet slick down the back of his leg. But you don't know what it is in that whole shebang. But yeah, Lilith sort of rocks up as this geezer's leaving, so... Um, Ironfoot is tending to some of the wounded, because uh, for the most part it seems like most of this thing has either died down or been pushed to the sort of outer reaches of the opposite side of the arena. They sort of pushed the the good guys then, um, pushed out from the king's platform in like a sort of sweep to push everyone back. So you're in that sort of in a circle that seems to be roughly safe, you know? Um, so Ironfoot runs off and starts dealing with people. And uh, the some of the other racers, you realise, were also sort of fighting alongside you. Uh, obviously Scrunt battened down the hatch and hid. Um, Giza was swinging up on the pole, hoping he wouldn't get shot by a stray arrow or something. He's just sort of still there, trying to make no noise, trying not to garner any attention that he doesn't particularly want um, but yeah the the two goths with the Dragula sort of have been using it as almost like a a mobile shield platform where they've like popped the lid up of the coffin and they're wheeling it like alongside and sort of like shooting over the top and that guy with the two hand bows is like popping up as if and anything boom, can kill them anyway yeah, I honestly, know, honestly. <laughs> the chances are they're already dead um <laughs> But yeah, they, they sort of manage to form this like defensive line with you and it does seem to 
settle down and push away, but it was just that initial onslaught that was focused on you guys, but again, you're unsure whether it's was that specifically for us or just because the king was like there, you know? Mm. He, he was like 40 feet behind us and mm. then he got pulled out, so... Um, Thanks, Erinus. Yeah. Remember that. <laughs> I wasn't even there, but that's another point. <laughs> to be fair, he is definitely on, like, good money from the king and the last thing he wants to do is piss him off, so... <laughs> yeah, but he could have puffed us at the same time. <laughs> just assume when he knew where you were. I feel like he was on a pressing, yeah. a pressing mission. <laughs> so, have you managed to catch up with us yet? Yeah. Yeah, okay. she's like reconvened as Chadwick left. It was just like a perfect exchange to the point where some of you didn't even exactly notice when the switch happened. It's just like there was an old guy. In the same room. And now there's a lady. <laughs> For the last few hours, have you been pretending to be a senile old man? No. I've been fighting. I went for a piss, stuck in the thong, and then <laughs> stab it. I know how that goes. <laughs> I have to stab my way back. Why? Did you replace me? We look me? back and there's just like a path of stabbed people. <laughs> did, you, did you replace me? Not by choice. <laughs> no, there was this, there was this, he's gone now. It, it doesn't matter. Let's forget about it. <laughs> An easily forgettable character anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Someone take a picture. <laughs> okay, so before we go any further... It's like further, kicking a puppy, that was. <laughs> yeah. Before we go any further with, like, sort of the conversation and story, shall we roll HP for level 6? Level uh, 6? These guys level have all six. levels. Are we going to go, like, clockwise or something? Or yeah, we... start with Taff. Okay. Ooh. Because the, the um, B for Baxter. D12. D12. Look at you, Which privileged. one of you will betray me? <laughs> Let's go for this one. Reroll your first one. It was a three. It's not yeah. great, but, you know. Three. Yeah, but you still three. got like 900 and something, so you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm resistant to like everything, everything. at this point. Yeah. So. Okay, uh, Cass, do you want to roll yours? No, I got the wrong one. No, I think it's no, D8. It... <coughs> oh, is it D10? Oh, no. This yeah, is D8. D8. Yeah, D8. Yeah. D8. Yeah. Okay. Ignore me. It looked like an 8 from you. Two. Two. Even Oof. better. Rough. <laughs> One me? Bar. Yep. D8. Four. Okay. Not particularly massive rolls this level. Jess? Six. Six. Okay. Nice. A bit above average. <laughs> Your mm. one. <laughs> I think. So, yeah, add that to your manual HP. These are all now level 6 and have gained a few extra little bits and bobs, including mm -hmm. the guy who's already resistant to just about fucking everything mm -hmm. now being resistant to lightning, so look forward to that. Um, You'll soon just be resistant to damage. Yeah. <laughs> he is resistant to what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's resistant to stuff. Just, just everything. The only thing that can take him down is antimatter. <laughs> just if a negative box just collides into him. Uh, right, so. The uh, sort of wealthy of the... Uh, hang on, let's swap the music back down a bit. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, the trumpeters are going a bit nuts. Yeah, I was gonna... <laughs> the heralds are like, warning, Come people. Yeah, so that's their alarm. Yeah, <laughs> I like the idea they've they've kept playing throughout, uh, throughout <laughs> everything. <laughs> Blow or like die. No, and like... It's like, oh. no, I like that they they sort of sad jazz ensues. <laughs> Perhaps they had to like stick to a certain thing, but now that the fight's broken out, they're going like freeform jazz. Yeah, yeah. Or like you know the Indian ragas that have to have a very specific like uh, key for very specific events. Yeah. It's like you can't play a funeral key like piece yeah. at a wedding, yeah. or you'll have your nuts set on fire or something, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know how it works. Whatever but yeah, it's happen. that, and there's just that one guy that's gone rogue, and there's just, there's just some guy in the back, like, I'm making a note on this. <laughs> um, I'm telling. Yeah, he's, he's up for a scrotum whipping. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, so the, the wealthy and the elite that were all sat up in the sort of, like, king's area um, have all been either portaled away or... Um, physically carried away uh, by Karaj and by that I mean Scry was physically carried away <laughs> crapping himself the whole time um, so the area you're in has sort of like become quite lonely because most of the people that were um, like able to fight are either driving them like sort of back or still currently 
in small little scraps, like sort of the opposite side of the arena, so they're like quite a, a bit away. Um, but yeah, your immediate area is just you, a couple of the Ironfoot Battalion, but Ironfoot himself is like pissed off into the wind to go and kill some more people. Um, a smattering of corpses and the, the goths. So. Baxter killed a fish guy. Yeah, one of them turned into a fish guy. Now he's dead. Yeah, there is. I'll, teach like, him. I'll just point over to yeah, the. There's, there's sort of like. How did he breathe? Remaining of it. Not for very long. Maybe he was more guy than fish. I don't know. Did we spot Kezra at all? No. Mm. No, but you did spot Ironfoot, so you assume mm. that where he currently is, Kezra can't be too far away. Mm. So mm. it's not that he wasn't necessarily. <clears throat> like nearby you just didn't spot him and that could be where Ironfoot has run off to now that he's sort of like had enough of the, the blood spill and he's like oh shit I've got a job to do mm. whoops are there any of the the tentacly tattooed people still conscious anywhere yes. nearby so um, one of the, the final ones to die um by Bax's hand, I think, mm. um, that didn't get horribly mangled and turned into a fish monster. Uh, you know that goes. Sort of like mm. just laying on his back every now and again, like sort of choking and spluttering up a bit of blood. He's clearly taken some blunt force trauma to the ribs, be that from Iron Foot throwing him at another guy or from your hammer. But he's struggling to breathe, but hanging on. Was this one of the blue yes. guys? Yes. Yeah, so the tentacles of the blue guys and the guys in like the plain brown clothes had weirdly ornate, almost like filigree tattoos. Okay. I nudge back and point them out. Cool. <laughs> I'll take that as the signal I'm going up. <laughs> pushing through whatever crowd may be there and just going to drag this guy back. Okay, yeah. So uh, to be fair, there's a bit of a clearing around you where like people are now starting to tend to the wounded slightly further up, but just in this immediate spot where the finish line was, where those sort of most of the chariots ended up, they've created almost like a little defensive mm. ring, and most of the races have either disappeared or you know, perhaps were part of this uprising or are dead. Who knows? Um, but yeah, you just sort of grab him, he's like every, just as he spots you, he's like oh fuck, he, like turns around like, <laughs> no, 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 he's no, like no, the no. one arm, you know the Anakin crawl, oh, <laughs> he's like trying I to hold you. his ribs in place and he's like oh, no, leave me alone, leave me alone I'm just going to grab his foot and like, yeah, just drag, drag him by yeah, one foot, that's just like an auto success he's just like, come on <laughs> and I'll just throw him in front of Scarius, yeah you can like as he hits the floor you hear like an additional shifting of the ribs where like whatever had broken was like holding on and sort of like just pressured against each other and as you hit and threw him on the floor it just sort of goes and slips oh. so you can hear the wind getting like sucked back out of him and he's lying there gurgling going oh <laughs> sorry um, buddy so ow can I do a quick medicine check to just, just see how much I can get away with this with this guy yeah oh <laughs> yeah go for it holy shit <laughs> I got real dark I real mean, fast you could always heal him and then take it away. Yeah, I might do that, but Yoink. we'll see. It's a bad check, <laughs> no, anyway. Fine. I don't think it's going to affect... What happened to the Geneva Convention between last week and now? What did I miss? <laughs> the the got um, done. Where's Geneva? <laughs> I don't like Geneva. Um, not the place, the person. Is that her name? That'll, that'll be the a grand image. total of four. Okay. Uh, and no, it wasn't Geneva, it was... Gita. Gita, no, Sorry, Gita, Gita is one of your Gita. girls. No, what Gita's one of your apologies. Bollocks, I can't remember the druid ass. You know the druid, who's in I the dark. The druid was Gita. Gita. No, Gita is the, <clears throat> the brummy sounding one. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, whoever yeah. she is, that one, I don't like it. Okay, so what I do is. Not Geneva, she's not called Geneva. She's on nice. one of his. So I'm going to look like I'm just crouching down, mm. kneeling down beside him, but I actually then put. The blunt end of my the the hammer side of the um, of efficiency to my knee, side. and the sharp side to his knee, and lean on him. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. He starts like proper screaming as this thing is oh, like funny. just slowly because obviously you've kept this thing real sharp, so there's very little resistance. It's like cutting into the gristle and the tendons, and it's it's already bad. He is screaming. I take the pressure off. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, friend. Um, 
Stroking. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just so... sort of laying there, like, spitting at you and cursing. He's like, sorry, you're not sorry, you fucking prick. Hey, less of the, less of the language. I'm Enough just going to stand you. over him with the, uh, with the hand. You'll all die. Okay. I'm just going to put my foot on where we know his ribs are broken and coughing. just kind of push a little bit. Not like a naff oh, okay. to kill him, but a naff to be like, now, now. Yeah, now he's like... <laughs> We're not in any position to be talking to us like that, are we? What do you want? Continue. He gets back... Well, he gets ten, seven temporary hit points. Okay. And I look him in the eye and I tell him, I can make this last a long time. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you fucking! I'll eat your liver. <sighs> He's being rude. He's being very rude. He's yeah. being rude. I'm just gonna stamp on him a bit more, like it's just a little bit harder. Okay. Yeah, he's like you do it just enough where if it wasn't for those temporary hit points, it definitely would have like caused a lot more bleeding. But this just sort of magical imbuement going through him is keeping him just on the brink of like bleeding out but enough that you can see just how much pain he's in like there's a moment as you step his eyes like flicker back it's like oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh no walk around so um <laughs> what are you doing at the chariot races friend <laughs> sorry that wasn't him laughing that was me that was just such like a fucking drastic shift um that would be none of your business if you were to know you would know Hey, you made it our business. We didn't want you to be involved. You were simply collateral. You were just in the way. Are we? Ooh. I mean, you were also in the way. I don't know about that. <laughs> a couple of you guys got in the way of my hammer, so. <laughs> You're also currently in the way of my foot being on the floor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can send me to my god. I don't care. Who is your god? It's curious. I'm making casual, friendly conversation. We're looking for another party member. I want to do an inside check against that. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you know not of who. You wouldn't even know if I told it to you. Then inform us. I would not give you the satisfaction. No? I... You sure? You are unworthy of knowing my god. Oh. Out of curiosity... <laughs> I brazenly flash the dagger. Oh. Wondering what you no were going to say there. Yeah, he doesn't. And then he's like, oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> well, it looks like we haven't been um, talking to the same gods, so that rules one out. If it's one of those pathetic new gods, then of course it's different. Have you got something in your teeth? Oh. It's actually no, not. It's like his jaw is basically like. Is it like he's had teeth is... smashed out Aww. and it's like swollen, like he's literally speaking through gritted teeth as he he's sounds... trying to hold on from dying. He sounds like he's in pain. <clears throat> and we can cause a hell of a lot more pain. Just. Just letting you know. Yeah. Every six seconds, my friend can bring you back from the brink. I shall suffer eternity if I must be with my god. No, man. Boo-hoo. I will outlast you, pig. <laughs> well, you wouldn't. Like, <laughs> I could literally stamp on you and kill you right now. It's not really outlasting. You are just doing what I ask. I shall be a martyr. <laughs> okay, so what if we just keep you in a cage? I mean, that sounds nice. Yeah, we just have a pet, right? We do know where we can get uh, metal boxes. We do. Hmm. My, is there any reaction? My God would not allow this. Is there any reaction to him when we say about the metal boxes? Mm. Like any? Make an inside check. Mm, I know. I don't want to. Who knows? Eleven. Eleven. Um. There's sort of a not like a recognition, but you definitely see like a worry, as if to be like. Like, oh shit, what do you mean? It's almost as if it's like, are we talking about the same thing? Like, yeah. I I know of something. So in which case... I'm but I don't know gonna... if you're talking about the same thing. There's just that sort of like... Lilith is uh-oh. just going to be like, we definitely know his people size. Mm. We can definitely fit you in there. And we can stop him from cast- casting any spells too. 
and at that moment he's like, eh. Okay. Fair enough. Briley, what do you think? Mm. Briley is like not really much of a like down talker kind of thing. She's like kind of unsure how she feels about him right now. Is there any like other markings or any like anything else we'd recognise on his body? Well, I mean, he's in sort of like bluey greeny robes. Um for the most part he's covered apart from like where he's fallen or like where it's been gashed you can see some tattoos but like like where the sleeves are pulled up but I mean at the moment it is just sort of like a generic robe there's nothing else stand out as it stands but I suppose but again I mean I'm sure not only would the guards love to talk to you um I think we could probably find a few people who would also like to talk to you. Mm. Uh, it's funny that you say that because I was literally about to say. Um, obviously, as things have now sort of seeming to die down and the guards and stuff are getting back control of the crowd and like clearly arresting some people and you know like basically putting down others, the the two goths approach after they sort of like reclose their their Dragula. And, um, Must be closed. The one with the the two hand crossbows, sort of like almost robotically, just puts them down by his side and just stands there silent. And the other one approaches, and he takes a look at the guy on the floor, and then he looks at you, puts his hand on uh, your back as Kunk, um, <laughs> and he's just like, "That was a good race." I, uh, you really put us through our paces. Yeah, you are. <clears throat> you are. You fought well. Raced well. You did whatever you did well. Great he job. He bows his head quietly and then looks back down and he goes, Who is your friend? We're not too sure. This uh, is prick. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, we're trying to find out what's going on here. Perhaps I can be of some assistance. By all means. If I may. How are you throat? Nothing. <laughs> What's the matter with yours? I need a lozenge. Riley, if you don't ask a goth what's wrong with his throat. <laughs> come on. That was one of those um, things that come out of Jesse's mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just like, about it? You were right. <laughs> Way to win. You win. Do you want a fisherman's friend? <laughs> <laughs> I've got some soothers. It's <laughs> just like... Uh, he lifts like his hand and he's got like a black glove on it and he pulls the glove off and he's got like overly filed almost like um almost looks like crow beaks as claws mm. uh, as like nails Ew. and uh <laughs> he's got a lot of sort of scarification on his palm like these sort of sigils that look like almost you know on like a sort of digital clock where the eight can become any number uh, on it yeah. mm. it almost looks like it's one of those where it's All like right. Not an actual eight, but it's like some sort of uh, circle within circles within circles mm. with certain lines at certain angles that looks like they can almost become any symbol needed. And um, he, uh, he's he got this like little ring, well, a bit like my ring there, but a bit longer and sharper, and he like cuts his palm down the center mm. and puts his hand over the guy on the floor's mouth. And his eyes roll back. The, well, the the goth guy, his eyes roll back, and he, his neck sort of snaps upwards. So he's looking at the sky, and this purpley, very dark, almost black smoke sort of spirals up out of his mouth and then down into the like in through the back of his hand and into the guy's mouth as he's holding it. And this guy's eyes like cloud over and roll back on the floor, and he's like, "You may ask your questions." will answer truthfully. Uh, how many questions? Hmm. I've never really pushed the limits. I usually That's encouraging. can ask what I need to concisely. So I suggest be concise. Okay, I'm... So we need to know who his god is. Go yes. This one to you, I think. I'm a... Who is your god? Um... As you say that out loud, he goes... 
uh, the voice comes back through the goth. He's like, the great serpent. Is that familiar? The grape sermon. <laughs> they did surgery on a grape. Um, yeah, so the great serpent was mentioned by... Um, uh, it was in one of the books. Uh, the religion book in the tattoo shop. Right, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Um, I guess we need to know who he's working for. Plans. Where they are based. Where they're based. Any plans that they've got? Like, what's your next plan? Why were you here? The way you say you the sort like... of, what is your next plan? Because of the sort of it's a direct fr- address. A yeah. Um, so, what is your next plan, yeah? Uh, it just goes... I am not privy to what comes next. Mm. I will know when orders are given. Yeah, they're just pawns. So can we say like, what was your first year as well? Okay, Um, The Black Fang. What what was that? The Black Fang. No, but what was it? What was the question? Sorry. Um, Who gives gives you orders? orders? And what was yours? Uh, what was your purpose here today? Our purpose was to cause havoc. It's a distraction. Reap destruction. Cause pain. Um, would the Black Fang, to the DM now, not to him, <laughs> right. would the Black Fang ring any bells? Uh, roll a history check. I'm assuming that's some sort of gang, so would I know anything about them? Roll a history check. I thought it was more of a guy with like a nickname. Yeah, Black yeah, Fang sounds nickname. like a yeah, like a warrior or something. Uh, you know him, man, Dai Fang. Dai <laughs> Fang, yeah. Build all the snakes. Nineteen. Nineteen. Um. So. Again, you sort of almost put it together with um what you know from other sort of organized structures of religion and like the monastery and stuff, you do believe the Black Fang to be more of like a moniker for a person mm-hmm. as opposed to an organization and that would seem to be just the person ranked above him very much like military style but that's what you glean from that. Okay. Only because within like <coughs> your monk order and other monk orders you know that there are very like generic sounding titles like yes. the Black Fang. So it'd be like, you know, the the Fire Fist or the, you know. Can I ask, yeah. the Piss like, Warrior. Um, <laughs> what is, hi- what is it? your... Piss Warrior? A piss Warrior. What do you call them? What do you, what do you call friends? What do you call them? You call friends? What do you call friends, Anne? No, like... The, I, I, I hope that Briley is saying it like this. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you, you call your friends? What do you call your friends? Um, a... Like, what do they think about the king? Hmm? Oh, okay, so that question. Um, he's like, He is not the true king. He simply came here and took the land. And then the black smoke comes back up and out and into mm. his own no. mouth. Uh, why, we um, need to know where they, where they gather, where they're mm. from. Yeah, and the guy seems. Do it again. Dead. Ah. Uh-huh. Responsive. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. As I told you, you had to be concise. Turns out five's the limit. <coughs> Bless Does... you. Bless Thank you. Again. Thanks. <laughs> Does uh, Black Fang ring any bells to you? I'm afraid not. It does not. No. Can we get another one? Let's <laughs> start looking around. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can try. Uh, they do have to be somewhat whole. The, the biggest thing is I think we need around? is to where they're coming from. Where, uh, whereabouts? Yeah. So, um, make an investigation check whilst looking for okay. bodies. I'll assist. Uh-huh. Nine. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, it was that. Nine. 
can I assist with that? Twelve. Question? Okay, the only one that uh, I, I was going to say, I was only going <coughs> to say the two because then it's sort of like okay, rolling with advantage help. Yeah. Like. Um, so weirdly, the one that's like the most put together like, currently from that group is the fish. Okay. So, oh. You're like the fish, and he goes over and he like tries it, and um, he's like, "You may ask your questions." Okay. Let's think there about seems it. to be a connection. Think about this now. Where are your people based? Oh, I don't like that. But I you don't have it? comprehend languages on <laughs> right now. It. Yeah, like you, you can understand animals. <laughs> I don't think that's a Dan. I, mm. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, Can we turn him in? Does anyone go oh. turn him back out of fish? <laughs> out of fish. Anti- oh, yeah, hang on. Let me just get my anti fish potion. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have another system? That, oh, but then. Does. When they're answering questions, are they mobile or is it just coming through the guy? It's just coming through the guy. They're they're completely silly. He's just got his hand over their mouth and. So it's not like they could point or no. tap or anything. Okay. Can I? Can anyone oh, speak shit. fish? Mm. Can you? I, I I do not speak fish. Is it actually fish that he speaks? It's not just called fish. <laughs> but. What would you call it? It's probably like. Uh, um, <laughs> it's not deep speech, so don't mistake it for that. No. But it is speech of the deep. Oh man, I can speak deep speech. It's different kind of deep. Kuatoa language, whatever it is. Whatever yeah, it's sort of like that, but yeah. this is more like a little more eldritchy. That like deep damage thing oh, you right, took, okay. like the okay. deep as a concept, is sort of known as like a fairy tale. Can the goths speak monster? fish? <laughs> Mm-hmm. He's currently speaking through the, the yeah. other friend. He is. He's just stood there completely still next to the coffin. What's the matter with him? Okay. Goths. We've got we've got a name. <laughs> Deficient in vitamin D. Okay. We know that they were trying to possibly distract from something else. We need to find out what the something else was. Yeah. Something else must have happened while this was going on. Somewhere, somewhere else in the city. They knew that everyone would be here, and they knew that if they uh, started causing a, a ruckus, then any of the guards would be here protecting the king. So whatever's going on somewhere else just gets to happen. So maybe, maybe, mm. maybe the king wasn't the target? Nah. They don't seem to care. Are <clears throat> you going to ask any more questions? It feels very strange being connected oh. to this mind. No, it, no. You know, when you're connected worry. to the mind, can you understand what it's saying other than those goggles? I do not even know how it answers. It simply speaks through me. Okay. What did it say? It sounded like you were gargling marbles. <laughs> yeah. Just a load of fish noises. Nick takes his hand off the fish mouth and as he pulls it away, <laughs> the Aww. lips of the fish have like stuck to it. So as he pulls it off, basically it gives him like a sort of Glasgow smile, oh. but it, with all these like super sharp pin teeth, like sort of anglerfish style. It's like, oh, fuck. I think you just mixed up, <laughs> you just mixed up Glasgow kiss and Chelsea smile. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a Glasgow smile now. Yeah. Um, but he's like, ah. Uh, Oh, uh, let me. No, I just, just try and like kind of yeah. scrape it off. His As hand. you do, it sort of like gets stuck to you a bit, and it's like really gloopy, and it's uh, just like I am no. Uh... Stop wiping it in the sand. <laughs> yeah, you just sort of more than anything, you're just sort of gathering oh, sand up on like it. A cat litter tray. <laughs> yeah, just like, he's oh, like, oh. I am no stranger to peculiar icors and rotten flesh, but this is unworldly. Can I? In- the first guy. That we um, interrogated. Interrogated. Can I just this is the look explore through? Explore music. <laughs> Sorry, I just, it's, you said as we were talking, it's like the organ kicked up. Yeah. It's like the goths, they know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll investigate to see. I'll, I just want to see what he's got on him, if anything. Okay. Um, In the meantime, I'm going to. How thorough? 
Um, in the sense of just sort of raiding his pockets, or are we talking strip him down? No, I've stripped him. Oh, yeah. you've stripped him. Okay. I've literally just, as you've gone yeah. over, I've as seen soon as you see what I'm doing. Like, okay. Okay. Just okay. come yeah. over like, nope, okay. don't so, need yeah. that. <laughs> you sort of like, <laughs> you start going through the robes and you start just sort of like prodding around a bit. Um, so he is completely covered with these sort of tentacular tattoos that mm. literally cover him head to foot. Mm-hmm. Um, you uh, make a mm, medicine or nature check when studying the corpse. You can decide whether it's medicine or nature. Uh, Both of you, us. Are you oh. studying the I mean, you can help. So you Yeah, can I mean, I'm standing the there, I guess, and I... Yeah. I'm going to go nature. Okay. You can roll with advantage as well. 19. To anyone? Nice. Um, <laughs> you see the start of gills on his ribs. Oh, that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> almost immediately recognizable to you. And you see, as you sort of like take the robe off and like start rolling him round and stuff and examine him, on the back of his calves, there's like a. I can always fuck this word up. Cartilid- Cartilage. Cartilaginous. Mm. Cart- yes. Cartilage. I can Sounds never remember how to right. emphasize that syllable. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's like a a firm ridge going down the back mm. of each of his calves with like little spikes on, okay. almost as if my calves hurt. As if they're like this sort of fins or something. As if forming. they're about to puncture through. Oh. Okay. Oh wait, but the this guy is the, obviously the... not the fish guy. Yeah, but yeah. this is this but the was... fish guy became the fish guy after he was dead. No, I think no, he, he didn't. Was, like, he sloughed it off. I think. Like... Oh no, the other one did. Well, yeah, the other guy sort of like fish got. Guy. Yeah, the big guy got like filled with horrible, disgusting magic, and then he sort of like went ta da. Yeah. Um, maybe a little less campy. <laughs> yeah. uh, but um... the, the second guy, it was almost like a, a wild shape. And for my next trick. <laughs> Jazz hands. Um, um, but yeah, it almost looked like a one-way wild shape. But this guy, you didn't see any signs of like that thing start. This looks, they look like they've been there some time. I think I know where to look. Can yeah. I, can I ask the gothy man? Um, does he know anything about the tattoos? Like, does he have you seen them like before? I must say I appreciate. The, the artistry of them and how they frame the bodies, but that's not what I ask. I know not of their origin. Oh, useless. Did you have anything in this robe? Uh, so there is a rusted like dagger. Um, there was the weapon he was carrying, which was the crossbow. Um, there is a piece of paper. That I haven't drawn out because I forgot. Um, but immediately, Scarius, you recognize that it is a single symbol. Hang on, actually, I've got it, I've got it here. Let me draw it out for you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I love that sound so much. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Where did I put it? Uh, history and law? I need to split those off. Uh, there it is. Right, now, if it can just open it. No. Oh. No. Sorry, yes. <laughs> So, <laughs> shit. Where did I? Like <laughs> <laughs> a feral goblin. I need to just double Talking check. Goblins, I can't remember. Know that he's been turned into a goblin. Where are oh my god, I know. Oh yeah, I still look like. Tons. <laughs> Have you feel like somehow you've just known who I was? It's just your voice. Like, I know you. <laughs> the things you say. Bax didn't in. make it. <laughs> shit. So we replaced him with a goblin. <laughs> that sounds like him. Yeah. Didn't you have, like, didn't have, like, his voice, but... No, it was voice. still my voice. I tried oh, to I do know, his voice. Oh, I know, you were trying to do, yeah. Nope. No sweets for you, Rob. There's a crocodile. Yoink. I don't suppose you I thought had... you had a dice, then. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
just want to move. They do look delicious, don't they? They do. Num num. Yeah, look at these ones. They look like. Yeah. Oh, man. I think I left Jeez. the specific notebook that I wanted at home, which is very annoying because I brought like every other fucking notebook. <laughs> Ah, poop. What are you doing? That's fine. Um, do you have the, the little strip You're of paper, to get in the or did I have it back? <laughs> oh, that's in my house. My Was it? I think so. <coughs> Bollocks. Um, um, Bollocks. Okay, so, I'll tell you what then. Instead of that specific thing, you get this. Wait. Um... Do the countdown theme. Come on, Kelly. Oi. No, she didn't know. How many letters can? Six. And your word is. Constant. Hey, wait, wait. <laughs> hey, oi. That is written. Oh, I've got that a what five. What they were saying? <laughs> this is AI. No. You can't have that many vowels, sorry. AI. I mean, you can. AI. I'm sure. That, isn't I? Isn't that the bottom one that says we yeah. in French? We. AI. AI. That's on the paper that was on. Yeah, oui. exactly written out. So if that's like the shape of the paper, that's exactly how it's written out in the like three by two or the two by three, depending which way you want to do it. Because okay. for some reason, some languages, like on UC++, sometimes do things backwards. No, that's fine. I was under... Okay. Ox, hmm? udders, eggs, ants. Your HS, you look like you're about to say something but got literally frozen. Oh, no, I... Um, my brain stopped, so I was just staring just, at it. Um, <laughs> is that clear on the camera, Rob? No. Uh, Leaped. There we go. Um. Could you set it down? Like ah! You really hit me on the set face. Set it down. Uh -huh. Oh. Um. It's almost like we thought that through. Almost. Hey, oh, yeah. Hey, nice. Hey, we. So. But no, hey, what we. they were chanting, hey, we. uh, if you recall, was ia ia, yeah. as in like sort of. Maybe oh, IA like or... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Would anyone... Would any of you guys know anything about the Great Serpent? Didn't it... Didn't you see it in that book? There, I, um... I met a, a really good-looking snake once. Yeah? I thought that was a pretty great serpent. Oh, but cool. As for this, no. No, I... I <laughs> Perhaps I realize it, now it was that, the same that, snake. that that's not helpful, what I just said. Who so. read right there in the book? Which one of us? I can't remember. It wasn't that you read it. It was that um, Kahurangi sort of like showed, I think, Bax while Lilith went outside. Yeah. Because he was like, oh, there's some, you know, some of the stuff about like the old <coughs> gods, yeah. like just as like their art in a book, you know, nothing. Like a book, wasn't yeah, it? it was more than anything. It was just like, was like one of those from the coffee table <laughs> books. That you yeah, know, the, the just nice... like when you're really, really fucking bored in a dentist's office. There's like four shitty old magazines from 1994 and a really big book. Mm -hmm. And you're like, well, I've read the magazines before. Like, oh, it's, oh, a, it's a really big book. <laughs> you, didn't the Great Serpent wasn't it mentioned in someone's dream? It was mentioned in mine. Why? <laughs> Why? Why you though? What for? <laughs> what for? Uh, <laughs> what for? Um, would that like ring any bells for me? I guess. Um, more than anything, it just sort of puts a fire under your ass in the sense of like, oh god, like you, there's just that sudden uncomfortable, like I don't know what to do. I've heard that somewhere. I, it, it's yeah. not quite connecting. You know when you like half remember a dream and you're like, ah fuck, what mm. happened? There's just that tickling in the back of your head where it's like great to and you're like, ah shit, I know something. Hmm. Surely, like if you have to uh, oh, tattoo something fuck. on someone, you should know a bit about it. So if they are tattooing the serpent, something tells me we need to revisit the tattoo shop. Mm -hmm. Should we take the body? Mm. 
Just dump well, it on there. Just carry it through the street. Yeah. Don't mind us. You could just. I mean, you could just lop his arm off. Instead of carrying yeah, but that's big, bloody. I mean, instead of carrying a body through the town. Yeah, but this one's strong, right? Mm-hmm. But you're just gonna carry an arm check? instead. Well, I make yeah. other people look in, like. All right. <laughs> Not for carrying it, but just make an athletics check. Okay. Oh. 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 Do you see that? That's uh, a ten. Okay. Um, hand, a pair of hands firmly grips around your ankle. Um, you don't like get pulled down or anything. Um, but the, whatever this thing is is locked on to you as in your goblin form oh, the body. Like, oh, what? no no not that not that oh. body Just something uh something uh, like no one has sort of clocked here it's sort of like down where you're all sort of like gathered looking at this mm. like body it just sort of grabs you i like turn and, and immediately look down like <laughs> yeah your, it's a crab your like visage of being kunk sort of almost looks like it gets like funneled down and like sucked out through your foot so your back is backs now and oh. as you turn around and look the brown hooded one that you ignited from the inside yeah. is reaching for you and is grabbing onto you and he's horrifically disfigured and burned mm-hmm. like the sort of tendons all around you or like the sort of muscle is all mostly burnt away with that horrible like boiling fire whatever you did to it so it's like all melty and all the like, teeth sort of um, Harvey Dent in mm-hmm. um Bale's Batman, you know, mm-hmm. but all over, yeah, like yeah. full on Anakin mode. Yeah. Um, and says to you in a very raspy and like sort of gargled tone of pain, um, let me, before I say it, let me just write it down real quick so I don't fuck this up because I will say it wrong and then it's all going to be poo. Um, I really need to pee. I really do. Well, it's Lilith or you? No, no. <laughs> Go Bye. I go to pee. We kill Lilith. <laughs> no, Lilith is going kill to get stuck in his arm again. You just went. <laughs> Hello. No, no more fighting. Oh, my God. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh, he's back. <sighs> and you are. Yeah, no. Did you get, uh, did yeah, you oh, get yeah, my... Oh, yeah, I realized that. <laughs> <laughs> did you get my money? Yes. Can I have... My half? Hello! Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 you've said that. Um, we've met, actually. Who is this, guy? this guy lying on the floor <laughs> just like. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> oh, actually, sorry, hold that thought. Ah! <laughs> yeah. So this guy looks at you, and there's this moment where you sort of, as you look, as you look into his eyes, there's sort of like a. a a hidden, deeper, like, not connection in the sense of, oh, we're in love, but, like, you look in his eyes and suddenly it's like, oh, I recognise these eyes somehow. It's just that memory in the back of your mind, like, I recognise these eyes. And he says to you, the king with no name is reborn, and dies. The king with no name is reborn, and then he dies. He's he's what? He's what? I'm like, go down and, like, (laughs) Start shaking this corpse. Like what? What does that mean? What does that like, mean? Bits start falling off him. <laughs> you just like come Hello. on. Yeah, I didn't leave him in a good state. No, he was real melty. What am I holding currently? Uh, it's sort of like a raggedy tunic that's been stitched <laughs> to a hood, with like half a body inside it. Hmm. <laughs> Drop it back <laughs> into the sand. What do you say? The king with no name. I, I, it might just be me. Actually, you hear that. Everyone else does not recognize what was said. Right. Oh. There's these. What you heard was like an ethereal. Somewhere between an overlapped whisper and a scream, where it sounded like there was a voice real far away screaming or right in your ear whispering to you. But just in complete fucking garbled nonsense. But you hear the king with no name is reborn. I'll I'll turn to the others and be like, did did he say the king with no name is reborn? What what does that mean? What do you mean? He just screamed at you. What? No, what? no. He said he said the king with no name is reborn. No, he said ah. Yeah, and then he died. 
Am I going crazy? <laughs> First you kick a rock and have a vision, and now... <laughs> Maybe I am going crazy. Maybe it's just your legs. You need to like not interact with anything with your <laughs> <Yeah>. feet. Ah, <laughs> uh, I I'm swear down, hands in the air. <laughs> oh, that's my hand. <laughs> Do I look? Yeah, you suddenly you're like I'm red again. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, cool, cool. Okay, goblin mode over. Um, the uh, the goth guy just is like. Oh yeah. Um, this it's... normally would. Lilith, be... save us. Chadwick came came back. <laughs> it smells of piss. It does. That's uh, that's him. Go away. <laughs> that would be him. Goodbye. He owes me money as well. So long, sucker. <laughs> Keep the money. Be like, oh, d don't don't worry. The, the goblin thinks just for the crowd. Oh my god. He's like, I would normally report that for breaking the Thank rules you. of the race. However, given the circumstances that we find ourselves in, and the yes. fact that we are really good friends, you and then me. what That's is my Baxter. name? Your name is uh, is Pal. Is it like, is it like... <laughs> Just punch him in the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> old buddy, old pal. <laughs> oh, you are. A... Don't punch the goth; he'll bruise. <laughs> <laughs> just immediately his arm falls off. <laughs> oh, what? what were you gonna say? Nothing. Go on. Nothing. No, go on. <laughs> say it. I was gonna say you had a stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin this for me. Unfortunately, friendo, I am not pal. Okay. You may call me Edgar. That's the one. That's the uh, one. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yep. Your Is name? Uh, not Kunk. Baxter. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> and then he just very politely like cups under your like knuckles and touches them on top and like just shakes. Cups under <laughs> your what? <laughs> Where's he cup in? <laughs> and yeah. the hand. He's just like very politely and then just puts his hand sort of like um, holds on to one of his wrists and puts them down in front of him. And he's just stood there very slenderly and a bit too straight back it's like mm. uncomfortable it's just like uh, like it's good etiquette but it's just uh, stiff yeah, yeah. So just not a chill dude I... okay Eddie boy uh, did you hear did you hear that what, what he said um, <laughs> was what you didn't hear that either what did he say he said the king with no name is reborn but while you he just and... screamed and died that's not yeah. what he said yeah Edgar's like I heard a faint whisper on the wind but as though the sound originated in my head and sounds like a, a, um, a scream that CD. came from both within and without and engulfed all at once you make everything sound so cool <laughs> <laughs> by trade I am a poet um, sort of my job yeah. am I going crazy I just heard the scream he just went, ah! and then he was dead basically exactly okay. the noise he just, just like a sort of ah! yeah. but then also like as if he was whispered in your ear and screamed from afar but also like but screamed back right to you it's something different yeah back to you it, like actual words from this melty horrible ball what did you hear I hear the, uh, the king with no name is reborn which makes no sense to me but this wouldn't be the first time that one of us is Heard or is seen the... something, and none of the, S oh. the rest of us heard or seen. So. I just made a history check for Edgar, and um, when, he, when he said King with no name again, he goes, uh, Forgive me, but uh, the King with no name. What, that's, uh, you know that? Uh, I. I read a book some time back where, um, I don't know if it was the king with no name or the king with the forgotten name, but it was some ancient, powerful tyrant from lands afar that Hi. disappeared one day with no real trace, but again, I, f I feel as though it was called the king with the forgotten name or something similar. Hey, that's that's close, though. That's close. You can't have a name if everyone's forgotten it, so... I, 
I mean, it still happened. Okay, nice one, Eddie boy. Um, what, uh, you, do you read a lot? You I'm, know a lot of this kind of stuff? Con up here is, Ed boy. Ed boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what was that? Do you, do you, you read a lot? You know a lot about this, this kind of stuff? I tend to stick towards fiction, but sometimes the best fiction stems in reality. So I've been known to read some theological, to that psychological note, books. So we know that they were uh, worshipping the Great Serpent. Would we know if there are any old temples to that god in the town? So we got, what, one cult with this uh, great serpent and another with the king with no name, maybe? I've heard that before. Oh yeah, because the king with no name was from the other group, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the brown cloaked. Brown cloaked guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got competing cults. We do. I know how I appear, but I assure you, I am not in a cult. Hey, no, 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 no one's saying that. No I read saying... poems in a graveyard from time to time, and I have been hey. known to. Everyone hangs out in graveyards sometimes, you know. It's... We, we do it. In one. We do it. Yeah. We dug in one. But we Kindred didn't... spirits. No bodies. I appreciate that. Where, uh, whereabouts, if we wanted to find you again, whereabouts do you, uh, do you reside? Call my name upon the wind, and I shall know. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, cool. Cool. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, or I'm staying in the wine house by Bob. <laughs> oh, so we got that's, a friend who's yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah. Lenora. A name to call on the wind, or say, hey, oh, yeah, I feel like Chadwick will turn up. Like, hello? Ed Boy. Like, Ed Boy. <laughs> Ed Boy. <laughs> it's going to be Eddie Boy on the, on the wind. Ed, <laughs> Ed Scott, what are you? <laughs> okay. I would call this a lead. I would call this, uh... I think we've got lots of leads, but where do they lead? I shall... <laughs> abscond to... Abscond? The, the great library, where I shall... search more about this king with a forgotten name or no name. And then he, um, turns to the other goth, whose name I've written down. Because I'm a oh. clever person. Oh, Alan. Think. Is it? It was... It was, it was Howard Woods. Woods. Yeah, <laughs> it was, that was it. Howard. Um, and he goes... Howard Moon. Yeah. <laughs> Spirit of jazz. Um, he just turns to him and goes, Howard. There's just like a real blank expression. Head turns and he's like, We're leaving. Come at once. And then just sort of like stows these crossbows and just walks after him quietly. Then they kiss. I was just about to say, I'm don't, you can't really glean the nature of the relationship. <laughs> I ship. I ship. I ship. Uh, I ship yeah. no, um, okay. I oh. think we need to go see Aerolith again and ask him. We are making so this. many friends. Mm. You know, it's weird. Clearly a very uh, likable least. group of people. Yeah, well, good with the bad, you know. Am I your friend? No. <laughs> go away. Goodbye. <laughs> Fuck, I dropped a squash. <laughs> I think we need to visit Kahurangi again. I think I, he's been lying to us. I don't know. Last time we went there, it was, it was you know, blood from a stone. I think. Maybe we have to hurt him. I don't know about that. What about it his... didn't really work with this guy. What about his brother? <laughs> you slapped the dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, did it help? Do you so feel good. better? Yeah. Good. Maybe, maybe we could try and talk to his brother about. The, the god. We didn't really Doesn't sound talk like to the brother. The most talkative person. But then, if we say the right things, if we say the right words. Maybe we do just kick down the door and. Uh, <coughs> a little, Set on fire. You know, just a little. Just a nice That's thing. your. Maybe. That's your solution to everything. Well, last time talking to him, you know, it, was, it didn't get us oh, really get us okay. anywhere. So, just... what time roughly is it? Good question. I know it was like afternoon. The yeah, I can't remember eight. the exact time that I said the. Ten past eight. What's it called? Started. Exactly ten past eight. Oh, right now. <laughs> the time oh, right. is very late. Very late. Very late. Bollocks. 
So the race was penned in for 3 p.m. Hmm. It is now probably about quarter to four. Okay, so I don't want to go starting any trouble in my current state. Okay. Sleep it off first. Plus, then. we lost paprika in the race. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Why? What did yeah, you do? Was, yeah, it's about that, actually. <laughs> I'll just, like, hand you the, the ruby. Oh, you... Oh, you... Oh. I don't have to use the other one now. <laughs> okay. Why did you kill it? Got caught in a falling moose. Yeah, a, a, a moose. A moose. Yeah, a moose yeah, fell it, on moose. Baxter, and Paprika was on his back. Why didn't you look after her? I, uh... I tried, but... Hey, as long as you so recover the ruby, do. we'll have the same paprika back tomorrow. It's gonk. Okay. That's why I grabbed the ruby. Gonk is fine. Do you want gonk? Yes. Did everything I could. Give you gonk. I got gonk now. <laughs> you have gonk. Um, and I'll, Tim's. I'll relinquish gonk. gonk with the I assume Ooh, it's still on my arm. <laughs> no, there's a meme gonk with the Tim's. It's oh. gonk, <laughs> gonk <laughs> droid wearing gonk uh, with the Timberland Tim's. boots. Is that what they're called? Tim? Yeah, Tim's. Yeah, Timberlands. Yeah. Um... Iron Foot approaches you. I got really again. excited then. I thought you had another friend. I was like, who's Tim? I don't know this. <laughs> I'll have plenty of friends soon. They call me <laughs> Tim. Um, they call me Secret Peter. It's <laughs> Peter, if you will. <laughs> Sorry, that really caught me. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, most of the ruckus seems to have died down completely by this point where like there are plenty of people that have been carted off uh, by guards some that are just executed on the spot sort of judge jury and executioner in the hands of palace guards um can i as we're seeing that see if i can just catch someone before they execute one of the blue blue robe guys okay um make a perception check to see sort of roughly what's going on around you because from what you could see, not everyone that sort of started getting up and fighting were in these robes, yeah. particularly. But 19? 19, okay. So there's there clearly was another little sort of contingent of um, these blue-robed guys, and some of them are being literally manacled as you sort of, like, catch them. Um, unfortunately, you weren't quite quick enough to stop one from having his head cut off, but there are still two that are manacled like and alive. Oh, can I just... Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's very much a... Ha! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> like you spotted a mid-blade fall, but yeah, there are two that are um, manacled, okay. so you can approach. I'll approach one of the so guards who's... You sort of like push your way through like this little cluster of uh, crowd on the actual like arena floor. A lot of them being seen to or tended to like... Again, the sort of like call a priest moment, like where the shit happens, a portal opens up, and then priests pop out, like ta da, heal. Um, so, a lot of people are being uh, tended to wound wise. Um, there's a few people going around, like basically putting the dying out of their misery, be them civilians or cultists or whatever. Just, um, but yeah, you, you sort of fight your way to them as they start walking away, but you manage to catch on to them. And, um, there's two guards. One is a uh, an Arakokra, and one is an orc. And uh, the two cultists are both like human, but the uh, the orc turns around and he's like, "Gonna help." Yeah, if possible, I would like to have a little word with one of your friends there. If I one could. of these murderers. Yeah. What sort of word do you want? Are you with them? Nah. No, just no, like a sharp, pointy word. That kind of word. He turns to the Arakokra and there's just like a... And he pushes that one, like one of the prisoners off. And the orc just hands you like this little metal manacle key. And he's like... I didn't see nothing. Cool. And, we'll just and he walks off. And they both start escorting the one prisoner. Grab him by his manacles and like pull him into our 
But he's what? <laughs> <laughs> what, what a medical that's a, port, that's a portmanteau of man testicles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so you, you, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Yeah, let's go for that. <laughs> his man Ickles. Um, yeah, so where he was, it was sort of back towards where you first came out from those like doors. And they are still open, so... Um, as you start pushing, he sort of like naturally moves towards them, like towards the wall, but he's sort of like, you know, almost you get in a read that he's trying to find somewhere that he can like slink out. I'll try and make sure I like he's in the middle of our earth. Yeah. Hi, friend. <laughs> just, yeah. What's your name, buddy? I have no need of a name. Hey, that's not true. Come on. We also everyone's, don't need your legs. Everyone's got a name. <laughs> Come on. What is it? i gotta call you something. It's gonna be Legless Barry in a minute. I no longer have a name. You had one once though. That, that implies. I do not remember my name. Okay, can no. I give you a name? Bollocks. If you had to pick a name, what would it be? I have no need for a name. Does he look young? He looks. He young. He's both young and possibly like half halfling. Hmm, okay. Half human, half halfling. <coughs> Which you'd think is a quarterling, but it's actually like a three quarterling. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Right. What were you doing here today? As I was told. Which was? Yeah. I, He's I, like not making eye contact with any of you. Guessed as much. Who were you told? You know exactly what we were doing. Yeah, we know who as well. What I, uh, we do need to know is where Wait, uh, did you come is from? Is this a blue robe person or a blue brown? Robe, blue robe, yeah. Where'd you come from? Oh, so they probably just know that we've been torturing the other guy then. Most likely. Maybe. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Do we, does anyone able to make fire, or is there any fire around? You can slap him and make fire. Yeah, there's no fire around. Um, I'm pretty sure you still have some sort of, like, tinderbox. Yeah, somewhere. I got a torch, actually. Oh, yeah, I, I got a good. tinderbox. Um, um, I'm going to just, like, like, light, and just put a little tiny fragment of metal over it. Just, oh. just, just not do anything, just... Okay, um... Yeah, when you said, like, where'd you come from? He goes, we come from everywhere. Okay, but, yeah. like, do you, is there someone that you meet, you know? Uh, we are everywhere. <laughs> Look, now, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you here. You do not want to get on her bad side. Uh, and right now, you're not really playing ball, so... By um, being caught, I have already failed. So I do not care oh, if you kill me or hurt me. Wait, being caught was not part of the plan? Not for me. Oh, so you suck. Not oh, for me. so you are the you are the, you big are the plan. bigger oh, part okay. of the plan. So this will really hurt if I push this on you at any point. Yeah. Oof. If I put it on any of your say, on your potentially manacles, potentially <coughs> male parts. The more you parts. hurt me, the closer I am to completing oh, my goal. Oh wait, we have someone that can heal you constantly. Oh, so you want to so, die? You guy, die? guys, he's really young. Okay. Okay. He's also a murderer. Okay, okay, hold, hold on, everyone. Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec here. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna like put my armor on him and like turn him away. From <laughs> okay. You're like, look, 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 look. As you can see, everybody's a little bit stressed, right? Um, but you He's know, like still not making eye contact with you at all. Mm. Why are you not looking at us? Why, like? Uh, I, I see, see, like. It's rude. But, but I've. Okay, just gonna lay this one on the table. Okay, I'm gonna go the key. I'm gonna pull out the key. Mm. To be like, he looks up ever so slightly. Play ball. And I will open those up. You can leave. You can go. If you wanna go back to them, you go back to them. But I think maybe you wanna get out of the city, cross the sea, go somewhere else. Because you failed already. They're probably not going to take too kindly to you getting back to them. So, just putting that out there as an option. All you need to do is tell us where they meet. I think you misunderstand my commitment to my goal. I am not to leave. I failed when I was apprehended. You do not hold power over me in a bargain with my freedom, for it is not what is necessary. What is necessary? This is the one time he looks you in the eyes. To evolve. Okay. That was weird in someone's dream as well. You got, um... I remember. I can't remember who's yours, maybe. I will nod my head towards 
Hmm. Is the fish guy's corpse still? Yeah, I think it was. Nearby? It's just it was about in vision. I'll just kind of nod towards it and be like, like that. That is a form. <laughs> Not what I was intended for. Uh, then like that. And I'll nod towards the, the big, yeah. gloopy thing. I was to become more. How do you failed. how do you achieve that? Through sheer bliss. Um, death? Some kind of uh, Nirvana type deal? <laughs> I want to check if this guy has gills. I think that it might be something else. Okay, so you just sort of like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Gills. Ah, okay. Mm. Fair enough. But instead of just the one sort of in the middle of the ribs, his are far more like pronounced. There's multiple of them. And um, just to double check, you sort of like check the back of his um, calves mm. and there are fully formed fins and on his triceps. Sorry, his triceps ease, because mm. that is the plural of singular triceps. I apparently. Know, like, nudge Scarius and be like, what if they started out like that and came into humanoids? Oh. Wait, I, I didn't him. think of it that way, but. <laughs> Ask him. He's not going to say anything. Fish boy. <laughs> are you supposed to be a fish or a human? I started as a human. There we are. But I shall be more in the name of my god. No, you won't. The great serpent. No. Oh. And he looks up at you. They you know. want to be mermaids. <laughs> That's what they want to be. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mer something. Murder. <laughs> Judas. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> the temptation to say like canon I stab him at that point <laughs> but no um the great serpent right indeed uh how do you know of this great serpent then because I'm pretty sure I've heard and when did you get your tattoos from Kahurangi <laughs> <laughs> yeah just like slip it in <clears throat> oh did you get the tattoos on the street um your necklace is always on display, right? Yeah. Right. So when you ask him about the Great Serpent, he's like, I assumed you knew. And he just points at the necklace. She's like, tits? <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> what? what does he mean no. by that? Um... I don't know. I mean, it's got snakes on it, right? Not snakes. Serpents. Great ones. <laughs> um. Serpents are. Snakes. Steps. Yeah. So do you know what it? Do you know what it? <laughs> this, are they yeah, but it could be like a sea snake. Yeah, it can be yeah. an eel. Like yeah, an eel could be a what, serpent. Yeah. Couldn't that's it? That's yeah. what they want to be. They want to become serpents. Like eels. Yeah. <laughs> Just eel boys. So do you know what this is? Minus three, minus three, times three, 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 uh, you yeah. won't get a penny from me, you slag! <laughs> um. So do you know what this is? I don't know of the specifics, but I know that that is a symbol of our god. What is your Why opinion? You tell He's me. not going to know that. What is your opinion of the mother? He starts like proper, like almost cough laughing. And he's like, nothing but a false god with false promises. <laughs> you follow an idiot. <laughs> you follow a goat. <laughs> How pathetic can you I be? don't, I don't you follow anyone. Eel. Not an eel. You're a great to say serpent. An eel. Is it an eel? Is it a sea serpent? Is it an eel? It is probably is a it? sea serpent. Yes. 
What about, um, on the same topic, uh, the king with no name? That sound familiar? He has like a, a twitch. Instead of laughing this time, it's more of like contempt. He's like... Mm. He is known by many names. Many names. And the most ironic of all, the king with no name. Oh, but he has many. Oh! You sound scared of him. Not scared. As he says, not scared. He pisses himself. Arrow straight through the back of his neck and out the front. Just. <laughs> Grab, like, he just into the ground. drops like as you sort of lower him he looks up into your eyes and there's just like a moment of blind panic and he's just like uh, hey, Scar can you uh, uh, I am I, with the serpent I, I set off Gonk <laughs> I set off Gonk to try and but it's temporary yeah, hit points temp- rather than not healing, healing is it yeah not quite guy who did it can I can I see so make a perception check Oh, does anyone want the crossbow, by the way? <laughs> it was Chadwick. Nah. Chadwick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll, I'll save Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Die, bastard! <laughs> I got a seven. A seven. Um, so you try and, like, follow the line of sight, but as you sort of, like, twisted him onto the floor to, like, lay him down, you sort of, like, just about lost the bearing mm. of where the arrow came from, but it seemed to come up from quite high, like, on one of the... Briarly fuses arrows. <laughs> She's been very quiet. And I reckon we take a break there. Oh. Break! Come back soon! Hello, welcome back. Before the break, we uh, sort of mopped up the last of the um, encounter from last week. Some of them needed mopping up. With a little bit of torture. Um, Cas- <laughs> casual torture. And just as they were about to torture yet someone else, <laughs> uh, he got shot through the throat. Hey, I was serious. So I wasn't going to go. torture him. I was serious. I was trying to. I was trying to good cop this guy. I wasn't. But alas, <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> but alas, you're travelling with bad cops. Um, mm. So yeah, he just straight up dies in your arms. You don't quite get a read from it, the exact origin <sighs> of this like <laughs> this uh, shot, but you think it's like roughly. Can we tell anything like from the arrow? Room. Oh, good question. Mm. Uh, make a... Like, is it going to be one of the guards' arrows by any chance? <laughs> nah. It's, it would have been another cultist, Like, oh, he's I talking think. too much. It's, yeah. a, it's a cultist who got away, like, I reckon. It's, yeah. It, I'm actually going to say make we... a survival check. Ooh. Ooh. Me. To look more at the crafting. Because if you roll bad, you're not going to survive. <laughs> Interesting. Not 20. <laughs> not 20. On the red bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Choke on the dice. I mean, you rolled a nat twenty when you put it back down as well. Bastard. The red bastard will never do that again. No, um, it's true. So it looks sort of, you know, shop bought as opposed to. I know, obviously, even now, arrows, but arrows are handmade in shops, but they have some form of regularity to them. You know. Mm. It, it does seem just your regular bog standard arrow, but it is an arrow, not a bolt. So it looks okay. like it was shot from a bow, not from a crossbow. But there's nothing <coughs> stand out about the arrow. There's no like poison on the tip. There's Did no, we like... notice? You know when we were fighting the other guys, and the was it the the guys with the brown cloaks had crossbows? Do they all have crossbows, or was so it just two, him? No, two them? of them had bows. Didn't two, they? One of them had a crossbow. One of them had a regular bow. Oh, so it's not like that weapon specific to them then? No, no okay. they were just for like you know your box standard. Mm-hmm. We just need to kill people over there. You know? <laughs> I want to stab that guy, but he's like forty <laughs> feet away. And, and I can't be asked. Like none of us caught a glimpse Remote of anyone. stabbing. <laughs> um. I'm kind of tired. It's been kind of a long day. Yeah. Um, I think that we should... Still holding this dead. I think that maybe we should pop back to the goblin, um, try and mull over what we've... Maybe what's search happened him today. first and see if he's got the same note as the other one. Yeah, I mean, true. Yeah. I'll stop pouring through his pockets. Okay. 
Um, ooh. He just seemed really, really young to be a part of all this. Yeah, he was. He's going to be one of them kids that were stolen, right? Uh, Could be. That's, that is that is what crossed my mind. I suppose the younger you get them, the easier they are to uh, mold, brainwash. Mm. That's a very sad thought. Is that fucking fella just had open? God damn. I was actually going to ask him something about that before he uh, took an arrow to the neck. <laughs> really selfish of him. <laughs> yeah. Absolute prick. <laughs> no, the other well, one. That was the other one, prick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, this is absolute prick. Oh, it's like best friend. Yeah. Um, oh my god, where's the flaming thing? Um, yeah, there it is. In. No. Well, it's something like the flipping McDonald's thing in the middle of that. That's why. Ah, in the middle of the actual. <laughs> like, hang on. <laughs> That's product placement. I love it, <laughs> oh gosh, I want a McDonald's now. Great. We're not sponsored. We're not sponsored. Not spawn. Where? And just to prove it, I hate McDonald's. <gasps> Actually do. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm like, I find it to be like, I don't know, it's one of those things you only have if you're really desperate. That's mm. my, that's my vibe with it. Like, as a person. <laughs> like, if, if it's past midnight and you need to eat but nothing else is open, that's, yeah. When you're fe feeling really blurry. absolutely shit my brain down. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, McDonald's. We're, we're never going to get a McDonald's sponsorship. <laughs> I don't want one. Woo! I don't need the diarrhea, thanks. <laughs> I'm trying to remember that. I really, really wish I brought that other notebook. Was it just, I want to say it was this and then this. And oh, I'm going to keep the rusty dagger, by the way, but does anyone want this crossbow? I'm, I'm good. You see no, I don't. these markings. Oh. That's a four. Oh, uh, and I haven't got the note. If I ever see oh, one. next time we'll reassess this bit because I also forgot my thingy. And then I'll just pop it down. It's lost. Wait. <laughs> it does look a bit like lost. <laughs> I, I realised that as I was writing it over, but um, Yeah, that is what you find in his pocket. Okay. I'm just going to throw the crossbow on the floor. I don't want <laughs> Where did we find that piece of paper? Was it in a book? No, it was taken from the guy sent to kill Kezra. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Should have asked him if the seabird image was. I uh... know oh, we know that was Great Serpent, don't we? Mm. Yeah. The thing that's. So, these people want to evolve and they don't seem to like the mother but the mother is telling me to evolve hmm. they are, seem uh are they all being told to evolve maybe it's just the same god the way they talked about this uh this king with no name too he sounded uh apprehensive almost you know hmm. uh, sorry buddy <laughs> <laughs> And stand up and just <laughs> goblin talk more there yeah okay okay so you um sort of make your way back up through the crowd some of them are getting like talked to by guards there's people being lined up and questioned that are clearly parts of these organizations that rose up and are basically getting mass executed in the street Oof. um it's just like the classic. In the name of King Cathard, I deem you to be blah 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 blah. Pull the lever, <laughs> choked out and killed. Um, the, some of them are not even Dead. being read their full like final rights or anything. It's just like pull the lever, get the next lot. There. How are they choosing who's dying? Because didn't everyone fight? Guessing it's the. People is it just because they're it's not in the robes? Yeah, but is it like obviously some of them? I guess weren't in robes, right? They probably haven't got everyone. Yeah. If there are ones that weren't people, they're specifically they're You are they correct, the justice system is flawed. <laughs> and no, are they specifically picking just the robed people, not? They, they're picking the ones that are either like obviously... obviously yeah. Yeah. But even some of them you're looking at and you're like, 
Are they a cult? They seem to be quite staunch in their beliefs as well. It seems like yeah. they're quite proud. Yeah, a lot of be. them are very like, you know, for my god, I am a martyr. But mm. there are definitely a few people that are being strung up and you're like, did they just get caught in with the bad lot or did they try and do something dodgy while everything was going on? It's Francine! <laughs> <laughs> She's got a thick enough neck, you can't... Oh, actually, you know, like Frank Reynolds, yeah. when he's fucking dangling, like, I'm trying to kill myself! Don't stop me! <laughs> yeah, she's just got a dense enough neck that she just stays there. She's just stroking that... Off. Stroking that man yeah, who's the cat man with her foot as she's there. Davina, get me down! Yeah, Davina. <laughs> Yeah, um, <clears throat> you don't actually spot Francine. She did sort of disappear in the, the kerfuffle. I'm she's gone off with the goths. Yeah, yeah. I bet yeah. she's behind all of this. She is. Yeah, we, we, Ura, Ura, know Mr. That, we know that Francine is an eldritch god, but we look past that. God of soup. Soup. Her soup keeps. We soup need keeps. to talk to Aralith. What about what about Kedra? Like, surely he would know these symbols and or anything about these symbols. Possibly. Oh, wait, didn't I... he already ask? Also, I realise now that um, you basically sort of like blanked him almost uh. in, in the arena because they were saying that like, oh, you know, the iron foot comes back towards you with yeah. uh, Kezra and then we got a bit sidetracked. So it was literally a case of you guys were like, oh, hang on, we've got something to do. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought, you said, I thought you said he went off to Kezra. I didn't think you said they came to the, yeah, three, of, the went... three of us didn't see Kezra. He did, but was like, nope. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. Busy. <laughs> yeah. um, this, also, to uh, be fair, it's probably best the backs of items. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, I've had enough for one day. He's his favourite little boy. This, uh, this, what was it, Black Claw? Black Fang. Black Fang, mm -hmm. was it? That's, that's our lead. I think. Mm. And I do think that we should maybe look for old temples. They, you know, they might, they might feel a bit of uh, tradition. Are we in the goblin? Yeah, on the way back. Talking, yeah. Uh, remember we were having creepy dreams when we first started? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're... But do you think they're connected? Uh, what? Mm. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, I think maybe we should put our cards on the table, and <laughs> I don't think I've and see what information we can get out of this. I'll go first. <laughs> I've been visited by some sort of goat in my dreams telling me to evolve which kind of freaked me out when uh, wait have you got hooves <coughs> I check <laughs> <laughs> not yet not at the moment I was going to say have you well you are like half devil type of thing so I'm gonna <laughs> you, got you, you got horns I was going to mm. say have you got like anything different about you than before you started those dreams uh, except I, for the eye I was going to say he's got a stink except eye. for the eye <laughs> you know when Lilith was on the ship and didn't have her top on. Yeah. Did she have guilds? No. Okay. What? Oh. I thought she might have had guilds. I was like, why? Oh. Why did it have to be at that specific point that you noticed guilds? Because she was naked and oh. every other people would have seen as well. So yeah, no, just... Also, you were fighting topless and no one else was like, uh, Lil? <laughs> You've grown guilds. Lil guilds. Gil Lil. Gillows. Gillows. Okay. Um, so okay, so you've been visited by a goat. A goat, yes. And you get this weird... We've seen the dagger, right? Yeah. As you're, like, sort of discussing all this back with the goblin, just one of the bosses comes up with the tray of soup, plonks it on the table and walks away. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> um, it's very generic, like, vegetable broth with, nice. like, I'm, I'm happy maybe with that. some... Thank you, pigeon. Boris. Is Borisai. Boris, Boris, and Borisov. Borisai. There's just sort of no real acknowledgement. They sort of like talk in in their guttural meets squeaky <laughs> raccoon language in the back room. Hmm. I like them. So, so you've got a weird dagger made out of a 
Currently goat's no horn. And you've always had the horns, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. And you? I think so. Okay. That'd be great one for. I've got horns. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's um, where's Skimp or Shrimp? Is it Skimp? I guess. Scrimp. Scrimp. Scrimp and Shrimp. No one's at the bar. It's, the it's just the bodices. Bodices. Oh, oh no, they were they were at the, the kitchen. They were at the arena, of course. Are they they dead? were probably dealing with kunk, real kunk. Oh yeah. Uh. They, I'm sure they're fine because they would have been back in the the part where the races are when all that kicked off, right? Maybe. Hopefully. Let's cross our fingers. I mean, he's a hell of a shot with a towel. Look, if they come back, then great. If if <laughs> if not, then then that's very sad. Ooh, ooh. But um. <laughs> Huh. Hmm. I hope they're okay. So, the one thing that rings a bell with me is Evolve, because I've been told that. Anything ring a bell with you guys? Not about Evolving. Um, no. I, I, the I only think Lilith said Evolving, didn't they? No. Oh, no, Ascend, wasn't it? Yes. The, if you remember, the thing, obviously... Scaris doesn't say this, but if you remember, the person that was telling me to evolve, I've been told once by the mother, but mm-hmm. once by my father, mm-hmm. as yeah, in in the in the dream. Oh yeah. No, as I was trying to leave, as I was trying to yeah. leave. Uh, Doofenshmirtz. Oh, yeah. Doofen, Doofen, Doofen yeah. Doofenshmirtz. Yeah. Doofenshmirtz. Oh, that was a while ago. Hangman Doofenshmirtz's basement. Um, yeah. You bricked him and tried to peg you out the door, and then oh, your yeah, dad was like, course. Stop being a bitch! And you're like, Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sadie. So, uh. A Mashin Smith was like, um. Scotty is the tiefling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a tiefling? <laughs> and then you just sort of like. I just put a suit on. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> putting your, your top. <laughs> like button up, put it straight in your tie, or like now it's just like you sort of you come in with like half your face like covered, and it's like a tiefling, Scotty is the tiefling. <laughs> <laughs> just like oh no, the eye. <laughs> so um, my thing um, I had uh, this dream a couple of times of um, like a hall, like a. Like a throne room. Okay. With a load of cloaked, spooky looking guys. And, uh, and what, I. What color were their cloaks? Just black, were they? Yeah, I think they were described as just being like vaguely dark. dark. Just, mm-hmm. Yeah. Everything, so for the most part, in this room was quite desaturated, at least. I don't know. Everything was kind of kind of gray and just gl- <laughs> gloomy and uh, real, like, edgy. Did you recognize the room? Nothing that I'd ever seen before. It was, uh, I guess, stone. Uh, didn't look like here. Oh, is this the one when you were there? And then you would... Yeah. You so, told us about it before. Yeah, but it, it's happened twice, or maybe three times. Um, you tend to be other people sometimes. Yeah, it's not me. Like, I can see me. Like, you're there. And but I'm getting else? dragged into the room, but I'm watching from someone else's perspective. Either I'm one of the guys in the cloaks, or I'm on the throne. Which is pretty cool, actually, when you think about it. But, uh... When you say that, um... Make a general eldritch check for me. Okay. Or sanity, what I call it. It was sanity, yeah, sanity and then check. the eldritch of the individual. Just a check, not Doing a, a sanity save. check. Just a check. Sanity. Minus two, that's a three. <laughs> As you do say that, you do get this sort of Just warmth in the pit of your stomach that you've not really felt before. But when you were thinking about being in the position of the king, it's like there's almost like a hunger that builds in you for that. Like a good warmth. Yeah, mm. like uh, you almost like you want to embrace that feeling. Yeah. On the throne. There's a. Uh... Yeah, it was nice. But uh, but anyway, um But you were watching yourself being dragged in. Yeah. So it wasn't you. Yeah, but kinda of was. Yeah. In the dream. 
But uh, yeah, they they kind of wanted me to like I don't know bend the knee, I guess. And uh, <laughs> you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of that. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That and the. Uh, do they say anything to you, or do you say any? Do, do the person that you are. Yeah, you need to just be to? you, okay? Yeah. Just, mm. just be true to yourself. Do they, does does anything anyone Show say your anything? True colors, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Is there any like particular phrases I? Recall? You remember the words "kneel" burned into your mind. It was it was kneel. It was. Like a name? No, like 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 uh, I think this this might have something to do with it too. Um, this the kind of cowl like cloth thing okay. that he wears. As you lift it up and show it, um, you three make either a history or a perception check. Oh, I rolled the wrong dice. Because after that first Cause weird like, dream, the only reason crab. why I say those three is because as you lift it forward, you don't really see like the sort of front corner of it. Like yeah. you're just like showing it to them, but obviously they go. Gonna... Fourteen, I got. 18. Okay. But it, it, it got like tighter around my neck, I guess, I guess. Uh, 21. <laughs> okay, Scarius immediately spots it. The sort of stitching along the bottom of that, like, sort of together corner, the bits that aren't ripped, because like I said before, it was almost like a diamond got ripped off the bottom along these sides. But this, like, sort of southern point then, you recognize the filigree as being similar to the tattoos on the brown hooded guys. <laughs> okay, so does this ring a bell to you? And I like I I'd actually like pull it up in the <laughs> <laughs> just like, hey, like a kid with a bib. <laughs> look, <laughs> like, look, back. look. <laughs> Sorry, my eyes don't work so got up close. Uh, <laughs> Can you take it off? Mm. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> do I realize that now looking at it? Oh, that's kind of like... Are you uh, in a cult? I'm not, no, I'm not in a cult. It's similar, but that is far more refined. Yeah. What they had on them were like cheap imitations of this, but the general sort of shapes and... Um, just over, it, almost like <laughs> vibe. You mm -hmm. know, just the flow of it. It just feels right. Yeah. Uh, no, like, I don't know where I got this. It was a, just a rag that I picked up one day I, I can't even remember where or why it was just cold uh, you know and I uh, wanted to cover up some of this so I've just worn it ever since you know okay but I, I like it and I uh, don't really want to I like it okay Th that's fine that's <clears throat> fine <laughs> <laughs> What? Why is everyone looking at me? Stop looking at me. Do you <laughs> have, like do you have a... Around. Have you got a cursed scarf? What? Have you got a cursed scarf? I don't think so. But that's... It's lucky. That's it's a lucky with scarf. A cursed scarf. No, it is say. a lucky yeah. scarf. It is my lucky scarf. Why? Because it, it just is, okay? It just is. But now you match them and they're no dead. Because I'm luckier when I wear it. I'm better at avoiding things and I'm better at not getting hit by things when I'm wearing the scarf. So I don't want to take it off because of that. Because it's lucky. I've, okay? I've already cast um, uh, Identify on that before. And yeah. that's all it told me as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it's mm. basically the equivalent of like a robe of protect, uh, yeah. Yeah. Of protection plus one. But then everything else was just like big rubber stamp redacted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's just lucky, so don't like taking it off. As you finish up that sentence, Scrimp and Shrimp come back into the bar at the same time. Oh. Shrimp's arm is around Scrimp, and Scrimp is crying uncontrollably. Oh, oh no! no. Oh. He's, he's like his girlfriend. Got him. They shot Big Wendy. <laughs> My heart! 
I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. I can't take the pain, Don't shrimp. Laugh. Don't laugh. Big Wendy low. Don't laugh. Oh, God. And he just crawls up in like a little ball on the floor. And shrimp looks over to you and he's like. He's <laughs> <laughs> like. Is, is there anything we can do? He's like. I'm going to take him in the back room. And this whole time he's like. Oh, oh no, Wendy. It's like it's really hard to get shrimp <laughs> over him. Take and the, the Borises are like looking over the top and there's like a couple of drunk patrons like, what the fuck's going take, on? Take the towel away from him, he might turn it on himself. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's like, oh, since he, since that whole debacle with the towel, he's, he's just been leaving it in the, in the kitchen. He doesn't go near it anymore. But, yeah, uh, c- can someone help me take him to his room? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I come on, it. Dad, come on. And he's like, oh, Wendy. Uh, look, I, I got this. <laughs> <I'm just gonna laughs> She was a big lady. <laughs> yeah, he's over the top of him. Like, fireman's lift yeah, him. But it's like, you've sort of let him slip slightly too fast. So you've got him by more like the back of his knees. And he's upside down, but he just doesn't give a shit. He's like, she was a big lady with a bigger heart. Yeah, I'm sure she was. She found it in uh, her to love an old bastard like me. Maybe we can I'm get never going to get over with me. Oh, I don't think Wendy. that's what he needs right now. I think it helped. I'll carry him Maybe up, later. Up to his room. <laughs> As you like open the because it's like downstairs like off to the oh, side yeah. yeah you open the door and as you take him over the threshold he gets so upset and like everything like gets so blocked up he sort of like splutters a bit and like he just basically sicks down his own face onto the floor and he's like oh lady oh they no. took big wins oh you from didn't me. get any of that on me did you <laughs> <laughs> You just sort of like flop him onto the bed and he just lies there starfished. Just like a bit of sick down here, tears streaming down him, snot coming down. He's just like, leave me to fucking die. Can, <laughs> I, can I get you anything, my good uh, You could get me a fucking knife to take myself out so I can be with Wendy. Okay, well, let's let's put a pin in that one and maybe come My back. heart is so broken. Yay, I'm Sh- sorry. Shrimp, shrimp, keep an eye on him. Shrimp goes in and he's like, come on, Dad, you, you're going to hurt yourself. You, you know your heart's not too good at the best of times. He's like, but that was broken. Do you want me to knock him out? I can knock him out. And he's like, I, I got something. And then you know, he pulls up this like little cup of tea and he just holds up a flask. He's like, he pours it in. Whatever it is, it's like bright fucking greeny blue. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I should take care of it. And he goes, here, Dad, have some tea. I want a fucking tea. I want Wendy. And he's Drink like, this tea. is what Wendy would <laughs> want, Dad. Gonna tip and he his head back. sips this tea. And he's like, that's pretty good. But Wendy was better. Finishes okay, it. And just, okay. He's like, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> just passes out on the bed. And Shrimp's like, thank fuck for that. That was it. Nightmare to get him out of that arena. Oh, oh poor Wendy. <clears throat> what happened? Uh, uh, caught, well, caught in the she arrows, tried or? to get my dad to safety, oh. and she was like carrying him away, and she tripped and like sort of like threw him clear, but she landed and like. Oh, it was bad. She's a big lady. She couldn't really get back up. <laughs> and then the crocodiles got her. Oh. Those giant fucking crocodiles oh. tore her to bits. Oh, well, that. They're not going to need to eat for like a week. Nasty way Maybe to go. Maybe two. <laughs> Luckily, she threw my dad clear, but... I need a drink. Yeah, well, uh, good luck dealing with that. There's a lot of marbling inside a big woman. <laughs> oh. Anyone want some beef? No, I'm good. No, no, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> like pushing past right. Scarlet. <laughs> By this point, like Scrimp is flat up, just like <laughs> just like ugly snoring. <laughs> just close the door and leave <laughs> from the back. What is wrong with boss? <laughs> he's like, uh, his uh, girlfriend uh, was ripped apart by crocodiles. <laughs> Happened to Second Life, bad way to go. <laughs> just, just like, just around and he, he looks back at you guys and he's like, The more I learn about these guys, the less I want to learn. Mm. So, anyway, I'm going to continue my day 
as if I didn't just witness a woman get torn to thousands of tiny little giblets and other people being stabbed through the face and turning into fish. Do you have any brandy? Yeah. And he goes back and pulls the brandy out. And as it looks like he's going to go give it to you, he's just like... Oh, sorry, I needed that one first. Can I have the rest of the bottle? It's all yours. And he just grabs a bottle of rum and starts drinking from it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to go need to talk to my dad's physician about this one. Okay. Um, I viewed the serpent, the great serpent before. In one of those the weird dreams. The <laughs> yeah, you all just sort of like, hey, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you in a cult? Just like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> but I know if I was in the cult. Maybe not. Did you get that from the cult that you're in? I don't know where I got it. From the cult? I just always had it. Where did you get that? Toosh. <clears throat> what have you got? I got this. I don't have Have we all got a thing? Know. Whose thing is the coolest? No. It's the dagger. I don't think we've mind. seen yours. <laughs> well, you've got... Like the mask. Mm. But that's, the, uh, that's unrelated. Mm. As far as you know. As far as I know. What's your thing? That's another thing that sort of just like rocked up one day and you're like, hmm? Uh, I, I, I can't show you. Why? Can't? Why not? I can't. Oh, no, no, but you say can't. Like oh, American. Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Bite me. Um. Well, we've all, we've all shown our weird things. No, so. like, I literally can't. It it doesn't appear until night. Oh. It's okay. Are you a werewolf? That's super spooky. <laughs> She's a werewolf. We're fucked. The moment you say werewolf from the back, They're room, fucked. you can hear one of the boroughs says, werewolf, and then spit, and then, like, stamp it on the floor, <laughs> as if to, like, some sort of weird like suspicion. Sort of, yeah, yeah, superstition <laughs> thing. Okay, we need to ask them about that, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's like this kind One of thing at a time. Um, <clears throat> it's like this kind of um like masquerade kind of mask okay thing and um any any like cool patterns on it or anything it's just kind of like your typical ballroom masquerade black huh. uh lacy kind of mask um and when you when you put it on um Hang on, do I do I think of my words like me willingly or does it just happen? Most of the time it just sort of happens, but sometimes it almost feels like you want it to. Okay. Yeah, so like I relay that as well. Like I, I'm not sure if I wanna think about them or if they kind of just happen. Was anyone else ever wore the mask? Not that I know of, it's just been me. Okay, so yours has extra steps. Just you to just them with extra steps. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's just lucky. Yeah, mine's just stab. We don't know what this does. Also, today when that guy just burst into flames from the wound, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was oh, all right. this. <laughs> that was all this. Okay. I thought I'd never seen you do that before. Yeah, you've definitely got the coolest thing. I didn't like that experience. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, wait, like this, man. we still don't know what the necklace does. Like, n nobody knows where it is. Like, the first person to notice it has been the, that cult guy. Perhaps it makes you a good entertainer. Can you take it off? Yeah. It he doesn't like give it to Aerith, didn't it off he? Or like that. Didn't she? Oh yeah. Yeah, like. It's not really my choice. To be fair, he sort of levitated it off. Her. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, just kind of always had it. What happens if you take it off? Do you feel like weaker or Does it do anything? I don't know. Hmm. As far as you were aware, it is completely mundane and yeah, I think it's you. just a and also you've had like detect magic and stuff on mm, around it. A few times, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nothing is ticking. I cast identify on it, didn't I? I think you did. Yeah. yeah. So Didn't Kesro want to look at it again though? Hmm. Like everyone seemed really interested in it. It's because it's made out of the same stone. The stone, yeah. So you and I know roughly what it does with our things, but then... I mean, I don't really know what mine does, but... And this stays on this table. You know the towel thing? Mm hmm 
with Scrim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. I kind of did that. <laughs> and you want to go with us for burying and burning bodies? To... I mean, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know you had it in you. That's that's uh, good. That's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I mean, he did have it come in with, with the whole whipping incident. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I, I'm not sure where it does. But it makes you torment old men. Yeah. <laughs> Chadwick, come back! <laughs> <laughs> we need to check something. <laughs> but um, I've been having weird dreams of um, being on a beach uh, and. Um, Any serpents in the sea? No. Any kings with no of. name? No. No. Any mothers? No, just Keto. Who's just Keto? Keto. Keto. <laughs> um. <laughs> <clears throat> Roll for and stroke. She, <laughs> <laughs> she like starts like like frogging up a bit in the throat mm -hmm. and like she was um, my love. We travelled together when we um, were helping these kids and humans that were being trafficked. Um, oh. And I lost her. Have you always dreamed of her? Or just recently? Since you've met us. I haven't long lost her. She mm. lost her like she... Like... She did? The boat we were on got attacked. <clears throat> she did? She's not dead. Oh. She's missing. Missing. At okay. sea. Um, and I feel like these How long ago was this? About a year ago. Okay. And she's missing at sea. These dreams started it, at sea. It happened at sea. Um, I woke up. The ship got attacked. I woke up and I got knocked out. I woke up and she was gone. Uh, pirates or something? Sea serpents. <laughs> I'm not sure, but whatever it was, I'd never seen anything like it. Oh. So yeah. not just the people that you... you know, Not like revenge from the... No, it was something... Something dark, something deep. I've never ever seen anything like it, and I don't ever want to see anything like it. Did ever it come again. from the sea? I believe so. Hmm. And when I woke up, Kito was gone. But I don't believe she's dead, and that's why she's coming to me in the dreams. It must be. She must be trying to tell me hey, something. Stranger things have happened. That's... She keeps she keeps leading me into the sea, and then I wake up. I I, I don't want to like put I put a. I dampen her on on that because that you know, sounds like it's nice probably seeing her, but is is it definitely her? You sure? Mm. I mean, it looks like her. Sounds like her. What 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 she says? What she does? Anything strike you as odd, or is it like? I mean, she seems a bit odd, but I would have thought that if you'd be missing for over a year. And she takes you to the sea, and you go into the <coughs> sea? I go in the sea. Do you have gills? Does she have gills? <laughs> Does someone have someone gills in this gills. story? <laughs> One of you motherfuckers has gills, and I'll find out! I'll like stick my whole damn hand in them! <laughs> no. But I can breathe underwater? You feel like you don't even need to? Yeah. In the dream? In the dream. What about in reality? I haven't tried it in real life. <laughs> Let's go to the dark. No like Stick present. your face in the, in the soup <laughs> and see if you need to breathe. <laughs> what? Stick your face in the soup and see if you need to breathe. <laughs> I don't think that will work. You could try. Maybe I don't we should all try. I'm not sure that fish can breathe soup. Like, but these dreams started happening shortly before the crab. I was going to say, you can breathe yeah, in the water, no, right? Fax doesn't know that. No, I, I, I know, do, but, but no, but... I'm thinking... <laughs> Would it work on soup? Yeah. It depends on the consistency. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Are we talking broth no, no, no. or is it thick soup? It's, it's water breathing, it's not soup breathing. Yeah, true. It's quite specific on that. Rules yeah. is written and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because I famously stick to rules. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so I, I just say that those dreams with Keto started happening 
just before we had that really crazy thing on the boat with the crab. I haven't had actually any dreams though, have I? Only the one. You've had, no, you've had. I thought I've only had the one. Each. I think you had two, but I have a feeling it may have been one of the weeks where you. It's because you don't dream when you black out drunk. When... <laughs> the first one you were on. I, that's the only one I remember. Yeah, because on you're ship. on a stony shore. When, yeah. it, when one of the ones she went to, but you have to say it. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Right. I think you may have been out. But basically, you're on a stony shore <laughs> on a great lake. Yeah. And mm. there was a little rowboat that encouraged you to like climb into it. Yeah. You're just this overwhelming. That. And you, say, you paddled out into the sea, into the lake. And then... Oh no, I know what I was thinking. I was thinking the second one wasn't a dream. And, uh, it was when you died and had a vision of being deep underwater uh, with the green and blue lights. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I'll relay that. Mm. But that's a oh. All right. Needs attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got. Shut up, Chadwick. A goat. <laughs> a missing love. A. Spooky King. Spooky King and a... Water. Water. Deep. A serpent. And a serpent necklace. Yeah, but I've always had it. Like, I've, I've always had it. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I know the name of mine. The goat. The mother. The goat's name is the mother? Yes, but it, I know its actual name. It's Shup Nikarat. How do you know that? Just from the dream, or? Uh, uh wasn't it? Hermann Messenschmidt. Yeah, Messenschmidt. 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 Told me. And, uh, Goto... I don't think he said it specifically, Goto, but he yeah, acknowledged he you knew. saying it. He recognised the dagger and everything. Goto. <laughs> that was a complete <laughs> fluke. I will have you know. I did not plan that. I didn't even Just go to originally plan to have Goto involved in any of that. That was literally the first group of encounters I wrote for the campaign was Goto. And it was originally like lower level and shit. And then it evolved and evolved and evolved and it changed. Evolved. And it shifted. Yeah, there we are. And it kept shifting. And then I was like... I've named Shifting. the goat guy Goto. Fuck. <laughs> um, what does all this mean? Oh, my head hurts. <laughs> On the table. Yeah. Oh. No, yes. it's, it's just suspenseful. Oh, it's too quiet in here. Bobs. <laughs> the three bars just come out like a fucking like <laughs> uh, mariachi. Ring. <laughs> we. Sh- Maybe we should sleep and see, like, think of the dreams. I definitely need to sleep. And maybe hope we dream. If you wear your mask, then maybe one of us should try it. You say the sleep, but see quite if we get the same. The mm. shrimp is moving stuff around. He's like, you guys not going to stay up for the meta game or meta shame? What time's that? It's like two hours from now. Can we have a power nap? Power nap. Who knows, maybe you could win the raffle and be the ones who actually get to go up and do the game, you know? You're sort of automatically uh, entered into the raffle when you appeared in the city. There's some sort of fucking, I don't know, magic thing that sort of enters you in it. So I just... I just want you to be, like, aware that you may be called upon. So, like, if you are asleep (laughs) and you get TP'd to, like, the... Can that happen? I can't can't write. Yes. There was an episode of one of his other game shows a few months back. Uh, It's uh, it's called Don't Get Caught. And um, the people who were supposed to be on the game show, uh, two of them were in the middle of an act and like uh, you an, a- an actor yes she's just like <laughs> just like behind <laughs> scary i want to see him, i want to inside check him luckily he understands what you're putting down like he's picking up what you're putting down and he's like no not like that kind of acting i'm saying these people were oh and uh 
it was broadcast to the entire city on giant holograms. <laughs> Definitely know what I do. Uh, nope. Face down, ass up. Uh, so uh, I, I don't recommend sleeping in the nude if you are going to sleep. We should all be doing something really I really stupid. hope my dad doesn't get picked. Just oh, shit. Case. And then he goes... Wait a minute, what if the injured people from today get it, picked? Is there is there, there is must there, be some sort of system involved. Is, is there a ah. way to opt out? <laughs> I mean, I mean to, to protect your dad, that's all. He's sleeping. Maybe they'll think he's dead. I I honestly don't know how it works. It works. So what, the, the people who compete in this thing get no say? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know how it works. It's just like every every couple of weeks, there's like an episode of Metagame or Meta Shame, and then there's another episode of uh, Don't Get Caught, and a couple of other ones that he runs. Um, one of my personal favorites is uh, Holes in Moving Walls. and uh, Maybe we can catch a later one. Like I said, I, uh, you may not have... Like, by watch, uh, watching it, sure, but like if you, if you get <gasps> put into should... the show... I don't know how it works. Maybe if you're asleep, it doesn't pick you, but it clearly doesn't filter for I mean, having sex. Like or if it did, if it didn't, it I might feel not. Like even if we didn't want to be involved, we'd be involved if it. Like, you guys do seem to nap. be caught up in a lot of shit. We just need to nap. Let's just go nap and see what happens. Quick little hour-long power nap, and then it's a game show. What can happen? It's like you answer like some Have questions. Have you all us? And there's so many people in the city. Like, what are the odds it's going to be us? Pretty slim, right? I'm going to bed. And she just goes up. Goes yeah. off. She's just like, no, I'm not arguing with you after that. I'm going. Bye bye. Cool. Yeah. I, I so you guys as well. Okay. Take power a nap. Rest. Yeah. Feel free to heal. And during this power nap. Power nap. <laughs> power nap. You right? No, you were like, feel free to heal, and me and Cass looked at each other as if to be like, I don't know what to do. Uh, hit dice. So if you want to spend some hit dice, mm. um, when you press the cool. short rest icon on Beyond, it should show you what your hit dice, hit dice are and how many you got. Mm. And then you roll the number that you want to. You can roll up to your maximum. Oh, but then, so then can I just take it off if I don't need them? Um, so they're the ones you've already used, and you get half of what you've used back on a long, long rest. rest. Yeah. So if you have you just ticked those now? Weirdly, uh, I've always just assumed uh, you so get that all of them back. They they <laughs> carried over from an old one. So they're probably not there then. So they should go away. They, uh, Beyond should automatically get rid of them if it sh if it should. So uh, if they're ticked, leave them ticked. Okay. But then if you want to use like three more hit dice, tick three more boxes, and then roll three of whatever and heal yourself that much. How long have we got before the show starts? <coughs> About two hours. Oh, okay. So I'm going to roll 3d12. I'm full anyway, so... Oh, nice. I'm good. I'm full. Oh, you don't need to roll any then. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, two 11s on those, nice. Wow! Uh, 22 and another five, so 27. Yeah. Jesus. No, I don't know what I've done. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. How many are you, you, you going to use? You just keep... Healing. I don't know. What, what are you trying to do? Put, I d um, put nine on. No, seven. But then I got plus three. I rolled a dice and so I you, had seven. Yeah, but then so it you says already... Ten, but then it says one D ten plus three. Yeah. So just put put yourself back up to max yeah. then. Oh, and you get the plus, of course. Okay. Um, so I'd get another twelve <laughs> on top I of that. I think that number is more than your max, so... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I get more. Damn, I'm nearly back full. Nice. So, in hello. Yeah, you had your, your slip. slip. Yeah. 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 Fuck it, we do now. Fuck it. Um, Fuck it. You, each of you, are in a darkened room, sat on a wooden chair, Is it, much are like we the dreaming? ones from the bar. Oh, okay. From what you can tell, and. Each of you are aware of each other's presence, but you don't see each other, but it's like you're all sort of sat there with each other. And from out of the dark in front of you, 
um, approaches a strange pink glow. And I actually brought a mini for this. Um, so. Oh. I don't know if we want to... Um, is there a way I can just kill this light? Is there a button on it? On the wire. Oh yeah, down on the cable. There we go. I just want to see if... Oh, I've turned it up! If it picks it up better. Oh. So you get approached by this ghostly pink glow. Um, okay. Is that invisible at yeah. all? Cool. And it's very heavily skewed to one side. Hang on, let me uh, pop this thing back. There are so many buttons on this fucking lamp. <laughs> It's a lamp! Which one are you? Oh. Is that right? Yep. Feels cold. Like, colder light. Ah, it might be. There's a warm, light warm button. <laughs> well, the lightning's different now, whoops! <laughs> um, be oh. a, like a slightly... Uh, hang on. Shut up, oh, Chadwick! Chadwick. 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 <laughs> Basically, I don't know if you want to pass oh, around so you get like a better idea of what the hell oh, it actually nice. is. I'm a little, like, oh, stunning. But this... Wow. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> this hunched, like faceless oh, creature hob hobbles towards you. Excuse me, what's that you? You said we, four of us are sat in chairs. Are we like in a square or are we facing the same direction? It's difficult for you to know. You, like I said, you're aware of each other's presence. You just don't see anyone else. Um, just in, in, instinctively, I'm just going to ah! and just throw a javelin like from my back. You reach back, there's nothing. Mm. Like, oh, oh. oh. <clears throat> this thing hobbles towards you, sort of like staggering, wheezing. This faceless, six armed, robed figure with this ghostly magenta glow coming from candles atop its back and a scepter that it's carrying and some sort of incense that smells like... Well, when it first, hit you, it first hits your nose, it smells almost like each of your individual favorite herb smells. So for some of you, it might smell like rosemary or thyme or mint or whatever. But you just get a hint of a familiar... Paprika. Yeah, a familiar, pleasant smell. And it slowly becomes acrid and twists and starts to burn the tip of your nose where it becomes foul and the smell of decay begins to fill your lungs and it, as this thing gets closer you can feel almost like a warm breath coming from it but this thing isn't really like breathing per se and again you can't see your face but it's just this aura of heat coming around it and it sort of because bear in mind this thing is probably about even though it's hunched from its feet to like the sort of top of the candles is probably about nine feet oh. like it's quite a big thing and, and it's, it's just hunched, hobbled towards us out of the dark and it just yeah and it le like the first thing you saw was just this like speck of ghostly like pink flame in the distance Okay. But it leans right down to each of... Like, what you all see is essentially the same thing. This thing coming right mm. down close to you. And through this, like, yellowed, greeny hood is like an infinite abyss. You don't see a single thing. You don't get the sense that it ever had form. You just look into this cold hollow void and each of you begin to almost hallucinate twisted reflections of yourself Scarius sees the eye which you're like yeah okay that's new but you know I'm sort of used to it by now I just I guess I haven't seen a reflection but one of your horns has like been severed only a couple of inches up and from that is a series of twisting branch like horns all sticking out of this one mm. like bit it almost looks like a twisted tree as it goes up 
and your teeth are elongated and sharpened. You sort of lift a hand as if to touch the horn and instead there's some form of bubo covered flesh spike flesh nub that which arm your right arm okay and seeping down it is a dark green ooze and everywhere this ooze goes from these open sores you start to sprout feathers and hair and fur just down your arm in like a long line Mm. and then in like a panic you lift both hands up and your left hand is now a fully mechanical from the elbow down like steampunk a uh, hydraulic fist that you have perfect control over each and every digit and you test it by typing in the air and you can still do all of your magic if anything it feels more powerful does it look reminiscent of my gauntlet your gauntlet is definitely part of it but now it is crudely fused to your elbow through a a stump that is covered in horrific scar tissue but you don't even think twice about the scar tissue you just think oh this is this is amazing what Lilith sees is her own eyes reflected back at her that ever so slightly change And the more you study them, and the more you try and glean detail from them, the more they cloud over and turn amber. And your whites... So, well, the pupil spreads into the whites of your eyes until it's one just orange ball on each side. With a horrible black slit down the middle, but not like cat eyes like a snake similar to a snake Mm, serpent Mm. little serpent and you feel panicked and go to like scream at this transformation and as you do your jaw sort of unhinges into a much larger mouth where the two like well I say the two your bottom jaw splits into two pieces and your your top jaw is still one but you've essentially got like a, a Mandalorian helmet oh. shaped mouth horrible um, <laughs> good for business but you <laughs> <laughs> well, someone was a lot done that. there <laughs> but you have an overwhelming urge to grin seeing this Mm -hmm. and you lift up your hands and your fingers have webbing between them and then you look at your feet and they have the same and your skin is discoloured and slightly bloated as if with salt water Mm -hmm. but you've never felt more comfortable in your own skin Bax so he's a pretty normal looking version of himself but the scars have multiplied like gone right up across the face and are glowing the richest golden yellow you've ever seen as if it was truly made of gold and had been poured into your flesh and as they travel up into the horns the horns have warped ever so slightly to form almost like a crown of thorns with golden tips along them and you feel that warmth in your stomach again and as you look down in your hand is a faceless head that has been severed cleanly from a body 
And even though you don't recognize it, you know this to be foe. This is the head of someone beneath me. And in your other hand, a bloodied scepter. With very much the same style of filigree as the tattoos and your thing, but inscribed down and twisting in like wooden flutes. You feel comfortable. Briarleaf, you experience something unlike you've ever experienced before. You look into your own reflected eyes but you keep traveling through them and you fall deeper and deeper into your own eyes and it feels like you're looking at the stars and they're a nebula around you and you just feel one with this swirling dust and all this color and texture out of nothing all of a sudden all your senses are completely filled and then as you sort of travel into this deep space you feel yourself ripped back out so you're looking at your face once again but this time your eyes are completely whited over the Fox like years have lost all of their like fur and they've pinned back and become quite almost chitinous and your mouth is no longer there it's sort of from your nose to your chin is just a, a smooth surface but then from under your neck sprout a load of tentacles like a beard almost and once you sort of catch this glimpse of your reflection and feel a, a sense of terror almost you look back into your eyes and this time you're transported somewhere else entirely it feels like you're floating above the planet or the plane feels like you have a bird's eye view seeing life beneath you just happening but it feels as though it was your own grand design that you almost feel proud of these things that are going on beneath you I'm fucking god boys <laughs> <laughs> and then each of you wake it's about half an hour before, like you've had about an hour and a half, but each of you at the exact same time bolt upright. Oh, never sleep in the daytime. Never sleep in the daytime. Uh, <laughs> just gonna like <laughs> roll out of the bed. Da like Brand onto the floor. That brandy was off. What, do, what, do you get something too? Yeah. Did anyone see like a creepy Pink. Blob. Yeah. The stunk. Are we all in the same room? Do we all no, sleep in the same room? I think Normally you sleep we, two and two. Then, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to relay to you what I had. Are you going to relay back to me what I had? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to be like, we should go and find scars and backs. I go to the table and start designing. What, what are you... What you doing? What's, uh... Give me an idea, that's all. Okay. Don't like that. Hi! <laughs> we all have creepy dreams. I <laughs> open the door and you're just yeah, in there. Just oh, like, hey! <laughs> creepy dreams. You had one as well. Yeah, there was like a big mm. chewing gum man. <laughs> Charlie gum, Charlie gum, a bubble gum. Smelly chewing gum man. Okay. Ah, okay, we all saw the same thing ish then with some slight variations. Did he say anything? He didn't say anything to us, did he? It... Not during the dream. 
but as you sort of think back to it and recollect it and sort of bring it up there's a whisper that comes to each of you the same one you are part of machinations beyond your own reckoning okay did that come to us like don't like that. All of you at the same time, as if it as was... As soon as we try and recall the dream. Yeah. <clears throat> Can you say it in English? All of you are part of machinations beyond your own reckoning. I didn't get machinations. I was like, what the hell was that word? Macarenas. Yeah. yeah. You are all doing the Macarena. You are all part of maracas uh, beyond your, your own... Snickering? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> um... Did anyone else hear that? It felt like no one in the world could have not heard it. It was so loud to you. Again, it felt almost like that scream and whisper, both far and near. It was just all-encompassing to the point where, like, some of you even... Uh, like, there's just that immediate moment of, Oh, fuck, what is I that? I got the droppers out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look around and see if anyone else seemed to have noticed it. Because I guess, like, us, we would have been like... Yeah. Like, we would have all been obviously have noticed it. I'm going to see if mm-hmm. anyone else has noticed it. No one seems to have blinked. Okay. So there's only the four of us who they heard that. Nobody else heard that. Okay. Why this, did... We need to revisit this. We need someone that knows more. We need to go and see Aralel. I mean, isn't it his games? Let's go and see what he's playing at. It's not his. No, his is the trial of The game shows are Kevin Lemongrass. Yeah. Oh, his is the trial, whatever thing. His is the trial of champions. Yeah. Oh, when was that? Okay. I'm. I, you guys go ahead. I'll hang back. Go ahead where? To the show. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Hey, if I get picked, you'll see me anyway. Are you going to come later? Yeah. To be fair, what you remember that Errol had said about the holograms mm. is that basically giant projections get cast up oh, above yeah. the city anyway, so you basically just either have to like look out the window or like go into the street. Just be somewhere. But yeah, basically, if you don't want to watch it, it is the worst fucking hour of ah. your life yeah. because there is a giant light above you with real loud, seemingly sourceless noise <laughs> that's just booming down atop you. So if you're really not into Kevin Lemongrass's metagame or metashame, <laughs> tough tits, sunshine. I would have thought we you, would... You're either going to get randomly picked or you've just got to suffer through it. I thought we would have grouped somewhere to watch it all, maybe. Is There's there a, a hologram like public in the pub? There's... None that you've seen specifically that's like a hologram in the pub, but you know that there will be some that you can like sort of see outside somewhere. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm going to get a drink. Can we just go and sit outside and drink in the sun? That sounds great. I mean, we can watch it, right? Mm. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go and get a drink as well. Okay, I'll, I'll catch up and I stay in the room. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll buy a drink for Pop to the bar and Lincoln. grab a flag and a veil. Cool. Oh, just <laughs> nice big one to take outside yeah. and like top it back up. Cool. You, yeah. He's acting weird. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Bats, is he okay? Uh, I don't know. He said the dream gave him an idea, and that is probably the most harrowing thing I've heard in the last few days, and that's saying a lot. Robo penis. <laughs> you could literally be making anything. I mean, yeah. I mean, if he wanted to share it with us, he would, right? Maybe he just wants to see if it works first before sharing. Whatever it is. 
Anyone else f feel like really good during that? Yeah. Really you good. Knew. That's why I'm worried. See. Oh yeah, at the end I did. Yeah, yeah. you felt like proud at of the your end creation. I did. Yeah, not the beginning. Um, though. Yeah, the to be fair, when you you when you were traveling like through almost like what felt like space, it didn't necessarily feel like good or bad. It just felt new, interesting, and like you were seeing raw time and space. Mm. However, like, and I remember that part <laughs> where you said, "Oh shit, yeah, I've always wanted a tentacle beard." Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, I was going to say, like, after game, I was Davy Jones, and then I was God, so it was a pretty good dream. Yeah. yeah. Davy God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Thank that's, God. that's worrying. I'm worried because of that. That's I mean, I started off really scared, and then really happy hmm. in the spooky dream. Does anyone, does anyone want to go check on him, or...? Maybe I'll uh... <laughs> knock the door, and while he's like, "Take a right, do not come in. I am a masturbating." <laughs> <laughs> and you can just hear. <laughs> let's uh, eh, let's leave him to oh. it. Sure I Down go. I go. <laughs> I caught my heel on the, <laughs> the hydraulic thing. Down I go. <laughs> I mean, if he wants to tell us, he will. Yeah. And if he doesn't, we'll get it out of him eventually. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm quite happy sitting here with my ale, pretending none of this has happened. Let's uh, let's find a good spot to watch this guy and wait for this game show thing to start. Fuck and me, uh, I really hope we don't get picked, guys. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm just so tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah, so you... Sort of. Wait, what are you doing? Just sort of actual tinkering or making plans or. Do you want to know? <laughs> I do. Are you actually <laughs> masturbating? Yeah. <laughs> um. Joking off in the. Ah, my towel. <laughs> That's what he's gonna. Say. What's his name? He's gonna come out with it. Um, how long have you guys been downstairs? So they've been out there now for about twenty. Five minutes. It's about to start. Okay. Um, I Are you putting our name in the goblet of fire? <laughs> I have used the Horn of the Mother oh. to cut my arm open mm -hmm. and put one of the mana geodes in my arm. Fuck. <laughs> Don't mind in, me. Specifically in the gauntleted arm. Oh, ho, ho. Um... Skyros is hoping to achieve extra spell slots. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah, thank God we didn't check on him. Just went in and he's like... I'm going to put it in the door. Oh, I'm fine. Door I'm like, oh, get out! I don't want to be chosen. This is just what I do when I masturbate. Get out! <laughs> I don't want to be chosen. <laughs> <laughs> I got out of this fucking game show, man. Cut my own arm off. Speaking of the game show, after you sort of oh, fucking suture yourself back up, I actually um, need an open. If because you sent a few notes to me about the mm. the mana battery or the mana oh, yeah. geodes, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I test if it's working oh, okay. by casting cure wounds on myself okay. because I didn't have any spell slots left. Oh, uh, okay, cool. yeah. It casts at, uh, I believe I said level... Level one. one. I've only got level one okay. cure wounds. Then yeah. Level one cure wounds. Nice. Have you got a skull there now? your ear... You don't know. No, but have you? You're like covered by probably. the gauntlet, okay. isn't it? Yeah, because it, it goes all the way around. Anyway. As you cast it, the usual sort of feeling and colour and everything about it is a million miles away from what you just experienced. Yeah, it used to be almost like like you'd see a cleric doing cure wounds. Mm -hmm. It'd be very similar. But now it seems to draw energy in from the physical air around you. Mm -hmm. 
and you get from the I assume it's sort of like roughly there mm. maybe was it in like your hand or no it's, it's in my wrist it's okay cool the forearm. so from there mm. you get this yellowy green almost like rancid looking color ripple through you mm. you got bogeys and when you first cast <laughs> it you just hear good and then just as you heal you of course <laughs> <laughs> each of you are on some form of stage in an undisclosed location I thought inside. you meant exploded <laughs> <laughs> fuck this <laughs> yeah, um, oh yeah, yeah. and then uh, Scarius just goes bang that's what I thought you meant I was like no. <laughs> oh yeah, because that's how we would do it. No, you. I haven't had time to clean up the blood. No, you're covered in blood. <laughs> We're like, just like what your new the suit. What have you been doing? <laughs> yeah, your new suit is just soaked like in blood up to like here, <laughs> and like dripped onto your trouser leg and everything. And some fucking. You're just, very oh, much nice on the for the flag. <laughs> yeah, so you were lying there and you teleport and you're just lying on suddenly like much harder floor with like a flag and a an nail and like some of you that were like sitting down you just sort of like drop to your ass and you were just like oh fuck um no hello no trousers on (laughs) blood everywhere uh, (laughs) it's you all along you spoiled the surprise I was gonna say Chadwick is there however you four are one side of this sort of like very generic feeling room and that's all I can describe as it's like there's two tables and there's like a sourceless light, and there's this very jolly looking gingery blonde man in the middle with a big thick twirly mustache in like a almost like a Doug Dimmerdome white suit with a bolo <laughs> tie. Um, but on the other side, on this other table, is Chadwick, <laughs> Roz, oh God. Francine, oh no, and Kiraj. The Eldritch Gods. How do they yeah. all know each other? <laughs> Assuming they even do. Incredible. And you are greeted by Kevin Lemongrass, the portly Doug Dimmerdome looking motherfucker. Like, Welcome to Better Game or Better Shame. Let's crack on, shall we? <laughs> and that's where we'll leave tonight. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, <laughs> like, I arrived at the table like... Just like, what the fuck happened to you? Just, just holding the mother, bleeding, uh, just like... I just, I just sheathed her. Like... And this, this whole thing is being broadcast above... Like, you don't necessarily know this, because like, you're just in this like sort of sourceless box of uncomfortable, almost like medical-feeling aura. But what is actually happening is above the city is this giant broadcast, and you just turn it up and be like... <laughs> ah, that's funny. Uh, yeah. So next time we shall. It's a game of meta shame because I'm forcing this thing on you, whether you like it or not. Because one like, ah, of the odds will get picked. It's fine. It's literally called meta game or meta shame. I'm literally forcing it on you. You have no choice. Fuck you all. It's better. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know what it is, and it scares me. We'll find out. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, head to all of our <laughs> links down below. Uh, subscribe on YouTube if you're watching it after the re-upload. If you're watching live on Twitch, make sure you follow and possibly even subscribe. That'd be cool. Uh, make sure you definitely go to our Discord and let us know what you thought of the episode. Uh, is, what is next Wednesday the last Wednesday of the month? No, it's not Wednesday. No. We are streaming next Wednesday. I, I'm completely lost, I will not lie. It's the 10th Time today. is an irrelevant <laughs> nonsense. No, no, yes. my friend. The 10th of April. Yeah, um, <laughs> as... As you can probably tell, given some of the sort of improv descriptions of dreams, I am very much lost within a random void of nonsense. No, <laughs> not you. So, we will see you next week. Bye! Bye!